and impression obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Artist Shows on a Chandler. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hello, very good evening to you. This is the second show from the Caustic Art with the lovely Mike and Shona. And uh, this is a fantastic hobby. If you've never seen it before, well, we can introduce you to it today. But if you are familiar with it, it is time to dig it out of that cupboard and reinvigorate uh, this great art form. Now, I'm going to introduce you to the A4 book. This is by Michael Blossom and the Basics Twin Disc DVD. And um, this basically will take you through step by step. You know, you've got the DVD that really brings the book to life as well and the book puts the DVD content into an easy reference uh, of step-by-step -step photos um, so you can actually see you know how to create fantastic projects oh now on the actual uh, DVD you've got 110 minutes there and like I said, it'll prepare you to begin your, you know, the first go with your colours and your patterns, how to use the various apertures, how to create landscapes, uh, maybe fabric print tissue works, the stylus basics, colour over stamping, because you can use your stamps that you've got at home when you're using this art form as well, and uh, all sorts of fantasy images. So a fantastic set there. You're saving a massive £12, but to have the two hand in hand is really, really phenomenal. Because the thing about the uh, encaustic art is, you know, some people I know have had it years ago because it's been around a long time but they forget and it goes back in the cupboard and they sort of maybe just need that impetus again or they forget about you know just how versatile it is and just what they can create so this is a great stimulus to get you started again or indeed to springboard you into a fantastic new hobby and if we look at some of these images here I mean they're just beautiful we've got lots on the show with uh, Shona and Mike I believe I've got Shona on the phone in a moment but you know you can create landscape images with the uh, the the, iron, the anodized iron plate or indeed the iron in the starter kit um, you can create fantasy uh, I mean and what's so brilliant if you don't like it you heat it up and then just start all over again so uh, just those wax box go a long long way and create phenomenal backgrounds and images so uh, there's no right or wrong just fantastic handy tips from Mike and Shona so this is £14.98 for the disc twin disc DVD and uh, also which is 110 minutes and also that fantastic book there practicing this art so it takes you step by step from a complete beginner's point to further on in terms of exploring uh, more sort of artistic uh, maybe more challenging pieces and I believe I've got Shona on the phone is that Shona there good evening hi uh, yes I'm all the way from Wales. <laughs> in Pembrokeshire, yes? Yeah. How are you, Shona? Are you good, darling? Enjoying this sunny weather. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been, a, it's been a beautiful day. So are you all right to talk to uh, myself and the viewers at home a little bit more about the encaustic art um, uh, bundles that we've got on the show today? Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Now, this is the fantastic DVD and the book, which they're a great partnership, aren't they, Shona? There is, and I mean, some people like to watch something and take the information in that way, and then other people like to do it um, by, you know, reading it. So having the combination is really good, and there's so much information in there. 
That is, absolutely, because it's packed with loads of pictures, loads of step-by-step -step techniques, using, you know, the stylus, using the iron, using the, you know, the anodized plate, the hot plate that we've got on. Uh, I mean, it really is comprehensive, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, when, when we started 33 years ago, we were just using the iron um, in the very beginning, and through the years we've added more stuff to it. So this book and DVD is covering all the up-to-date stuff. So if you bought it like 20 years ago and it's still in the cupboard, there's so much more to do with it. You know, we've expanded different things that you can do. Indeed, and we were looking, I mean, so these are just some of the ones I know from the earlier show because uh, we had the three o'clock show with you this afternoon. So I hope you don't mind me just showing some of the samples that you, you actually did in the show because I know we've got different demonstrations for this one. But you can just see how versatile it really is and and very quick to achieve sometimes, can't it, Shona? Yeah, that's the thing. It's like it happens before your eyes. You know, you sometimes you don't even believe that you've done it yourself because you think, oh, did I just create that, you know? Because then suddenly you think, oh, I don't have any imagination. And then you put the iron across and you take it away and you see different things in it. Absolutely. I'm just looking at some of these, the fantasy ones here. I mean, some, some are like a kaleidos. I mean, that's, that's just beautiful because you can use your stamps as well. The stamps that we've got at home, can't we, Shona? Yeah, you can use any stamps with it. I mean, we use the silhouette ones and sell the silhouette ones simply because it's easier um, because there's nothing for the wax to fill in. Um, or the fret work, you know, sometimes if the stamps are really detailed, um, it'll, you know, it'll go in there. But, I mean, that's okay. You can scrape away as well. So it's using your scraper, uh, scribing tool that's in the uh, starter set. Yeah. Everything, you've got everything that you need to get started in that starter set. And it's a great starter um, for somebody who's never done it before. But it's also like a jigsaw. You know, when you start doing a jigsaw and suddenly everybody in the house wants to join in, well, in caustic's a bit like that. You get it on the table, and before you know where you are, everybody says, oh, can I have a little shot? Can I have yeah. a little shot? And they're queuing up to have a go then. It is quite addictive. I'm, you know, when yourself and Mike are in the studio, you're just like, oh, I just want to get stuck in and have a go. It, it is quite, you know, entice it's very enticing, actually, and I would encourage anybody who's not tried it to, to really give it a go because uh, we've got some great kits on the show tonight with yourself and uh, Mike. So are you all right to go down the counter with me now, Shona? Yeah, that's fine. And we'll talk about some of the elements. Now, we've got the stylus, the, the basic stylus tool, which uh, is, is fantastic to use with the actual perhaps starter kit or you know, the actual um, wax blocks that you've got at home. And I know it comes with um, different plug combinations. You can choose if you want the EU plug or, or the UK plug. Um, what's great about the stylus then? And it comes with um, the two drawing tips and obviously the brush head and, and, the, and the stand there as well. Why would I use the stylus then, um, Shona? When you want to put in a bit more detail into your picture, um, you need to be a bit more refined and it's a bit hard to use the point of the iron because of the angle that you're having to work at. Yeah. So if you imagine, you know, you just like the stylus, it works just like a pen then. Yes. So it, it works like capillary action. The wax goes up the tip and then you can just start drawing away with it and you can work into a picture much more. So for, it's almost like you get the wax on the tip and then it's to create these kind of elements as well, isn't it? And with our brush. Yeah. Yeah. You can just... Think, the good, the good thing about that stylus as well, that's the old version stylus, that's the one that we started with. And we, when we came and um, developed the, the next one that's got the two um, heat settings, but all, this, all the tips that we sell for the new one yeah. fit the old one. So if you've got an old stylus already, yeah. and you think, oh, you know, I'd like some of the, the new tips, they do fit that one. Right, brilliant. Yeah. And they just you just unscrew it here, don't you, and then just pop it in. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Fantastic. Great. So that is fourteen ninety nine for a little bit more of that detail work, a bit more uh, creativity there. And you've got that plug choice, 819723. Now, I do want to move on to the next kit, Shona, because this is a fantastic starter kit that you put together for us as well. Tell us about this, this enormous bundle here, if you want to get started in this fantastic art form. Well, you've got the basic, you know, you've got your iron, and which is in the high quality thermostat. So yeah. that when you're ironing normally, you can hear your thermostat clicking all the time, and yeah. that's it going up and down. So it's important with the wax because it's so um, um, 
versatile at getting too hot with the iron and then yeah. it'll just run. So the importance is that the iron's at the right temperature. So that's why it's a good quality thermostat you need. So that's why we sell yeah. this iron for the for the um, the job. And you've got the um, sixteen basic colours in there. Yeah. Chosen the colours because you can paint just about any picture with them because they're totally intermixable as well. And you've got your white and your clear in there as well, which yes. is really good if you're doing the clear's really good if you're doing More your stamping clear. effect. Yeah. And then you've got some A six card in there. And you've got some A5 in there. Absolutely, yeah. And you've got the little scribing tool for scratching images into the wax for doing pathways and things like that. It's fantastic, isn't it? So, so it's a real... That's for using it as an iron, but as you see, you, you, you can actually sort of just release that out and use it as a little hot plate if you, if you wanted to, couldn't you? You could just yeah, use that. Yeah, I actually, um, I think I showed that in the first show, you, using the, uh, yeah. the little hot plate. Yeah, just slide that on and then... Yeah. There you go. It's very, very versatile indeed. And uh, like you said, with those different settings. So this is a fantastic kit. And yeah, there's more pick and mix wax blocks on the website as well. Um, so yeah, this is a brilliant starter kit. We've got this on two flexi by payments of £25, saving you £10. One one nine six zero four. You've got your A6, 30 of those, your A5, 10 of those. And this is really high quality sealed card, which works so well with the wax blocks. And then like you said, Shona, that fantastic scribing tool as well well uh, with the double ends there as well fantastic and obviously a book of ideas there as well two flexible payments of 25 pounds 119604 now i'm going to move on to the pro stylus because this is taking the stylus up a notch isn't it we've got a much higher temperature we can achieve with this stylus could you talk to me about um, the benefits of the pro yeah well sometimes when you want to use a big tip um, then you need a hotter um, stylus yeah. because it's work, it's heating up a big um, a bigger piece of metal at the end of it and for like they, they, we sell a thing called the crucible as well and it like pours wax so it depends on what tips you're putting into that mm -hmm. stylus um, whether you need the heat setting um, up to boost it especially if you're working for quite a while on a big painting when you're just doing little little tiny details then the, the lowest heat setting is fine. But when you're spreading um, wax around quite a lot, then you need to boost it. And we've got the oblong tip here. We've also got the wire brush head and obviously the, the Stylus Pro. And they, the difference is they, they just screw in, don't they, as you, as you can see on the end there. And it's got a really nice light cable as well. Yes, we've also got that uh, smoothing, um, that abrasive paper as well, and you've got the stand there as well. And like you said, that heat temperature uh, control, which, which and, and also you can choose again, uh, UK or EU plug there as well. So um, again, more flexibility. Uh, you've got your book there as well to explains all about that, the manual. Uh, you've got a freedom discount on the Encaustic Art Stylus Pro. Uh, £33.99 and the Freedom Discount takes it down to £30.59, 987208. Now I mentioned the hot plate with the anodized plate. I, I, I really do love this because it is your iron, isn't it, shown underneath, which heats the plate because it just literally, I just grab our one here, you'll be able to explain it much better, but it just literally slides into place obviously once it's plugged in. And this means you can work straight onto the plate. Isn't that right, Shona? It does. It takes about, it takes about 15, 20 minutes for the, the plate to heat up. Yeah. So don't, um, you know, when you put it in, just remember you've got to wait a little bit. Yes. Um, yes, because it's solid. I mean, that is a thick anodized plate, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And that's great fun. You know, you can just, you can either paint onto the, um, the hot plate itself. Yeah. Um, and then put the, the card on top and swipe it through and put wax on or as yes. Mike, Mike shows you in the, the demos um, um, painting on top of it using the, the Go straight um, on there the heat proof tape to mask areas off and using your sponges and not your brushes and all yeah. the different tools that's there for that that's um, right we've got different tools on the show you yeah. can just apply our wax blocks on there straight away because obviously the heat's coming up and, and through. I've uh, got two flexi buy payments on that, £38.70, but uh, it's £85.99, £74 for the Encaustic Art Hot Plate, 024369. Now, Shona, we've got extra tools such as, uh, you know, your sponge set and your comb triangle and uh, your scraping tools and obviously the wax sealant. But I'm really keen to uh, show everybody some of the videos and 
demonstrations that you've got for us tonight, Shona. So yeah. I want to say a massive thank you to you for, for, for speaking to us this evening. And uh, thank you for sending in all those lovely samples and videos in advance. Good to have a lovely show. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Take care, Shona. Love to Mike. Yeah, bye. Bye, darling. Bye-bye. Right, OK, well, let's have a little look at the first demonstration for the 7 o'clock show, because you can watch the 3 o'clock on Rewind, where uh, they're using the actual starter kit. Hi, and welcome to Hochanda. We're coming from Wales today in our own little studio, and I'm Shona Bossom. And I'm Michael Bossom, and looking forward to sharing some demonstrations with you using molten wax in caustic art. Hi, welcome to the show. I'm showing you here the starter set, which is what everyone should buy if they've never done it before, because it's everything that you need to get started. So it's got the iron, the waxes, the card, the instructions, the little scribing tool, and basically it's just, let's get started. Let's show you a demo. So just put, put that to the side. So I've got the iron here, and I'm just going to use one colour to start with, because when you start, it's so easy to overmix your colours. So just taking one colour, so I'm going to take this lovely blue here, and make sure you put enough cotton on the iron. So it's, you've got quite a bit of wax here because you've got to cover the whole size of the A6 card. So I'm just going to paint like a little landscape. So I'm going to keep the top half of my card white as this uh, the sky. And this is going to be like my hills and stuff here. But just using one colour. So turn it upside down and then just smooth in the iron backwards and forth your card. Making sure that you go underneath what you've done rather than um, right with what you've already done. So I'm just going to lift the card this time and just dab. Got to hold the card and then just dab into the picture like this. And you can see all that lovely fology effect that you get. And suddenly you've got like a little landscape. It's actually taking the eye in. If I just put a little bit of green on here, you'll see how it, uh, green being the colour of nature. I'm putting it in the middle of the iron um, because it's the middle part of the iron that does this work. So again, just lifting it up. The reason that I lift it up is that if I don't lift it up and dab, it's so easy to get the shape of the iron all the time by putting it down because the edge touches. So by lifting it and dabbing in, it's the middle part of the iron that does the work. And again, the side of the iron, you can run up through the card so you can get your little grassy reedy effects. And then the point of the iron, you can do the little flowers, or the little birds. But I'm going to leave it at that for now and just show you um, at the moment I've not actually polished it so it's a little bit dull so I'm just going to get a little polish and all I'm doing is using a bit of tissue and when you use the tissue if you make it into like a little pad it makes it much easier to have a little pad and then just give it a light through the years of doing the shows uh, round about when people are having a go I watch them get a the tissue and they just go like this and they scrunch it and they do one wipe and then chuck it and you can actually use the same bit for a whole day's work, really. Whereas if you scrunch it up like that, that's it, it's useless. So just a little tip there to help. So just smoothen it, and then you'll see how much um, shinier that is now. Because it's got the actual, um, I've polished the wax. So I'm going to use the same card and just show you making it into a different type of uh, effect. So I'm going to put on some more colour onto the iron. So I'm just going to get the right colour here, because sometimes it's hard to tell what's what. I'm going to put some purple on this time, because I really like this purple. And just add a little bit more of the blue as well. And these will intermix. So I'm just going to go out of the whole card this time. And then just sort of create and let the iron, as you're taking the iron down, just slightly lifting it and just dragging it. And it creates all these lovely effects. You can just shake it and you've got all these sort of like caves and all sorts of things. So you can just play with it to see what shape that the iron creates. We're just getting the background. But if I just get like a nice smooth type background, what I'm going to do now, I call this my scaffolding effect. So I'm just going to take the iron and I'm just going to like run through like this using the side of the iron. And I'm going to turn the card like this. Keep just moving the card all the time. And don't worry if it's got a little mark on it like that, that's fine because you're just building up and the beauty of wax in the iron is it creates a lot of depth and perspective and that's why a lot of people succeed with it where they wouldn't succeed with another type of art form because the iron actually gives you a lot of depth 
So I'm just going to let it cool down a little bit because it takes a few seconds for it to cool for what I'm going to do to it next. Because have, um, there's all these like slight um, bits that's missing, I'm going to now take some um, silver wax. We do the, the metallics and stuff, it's separate in a different uh, combination with the pick and mix, but I'm just going to use the silver. It doesn't actually come in the starter set, but I love this colour for doing this technique. So I'm just going to do what I'd call rubbing. So I'm just going to rub over the top like this and again just giving it a light polish oops chucking it out of the picture why not and then you see how you've got that lovely dimensional effect it's the shine of the but see how deep and much depth you can get into it. You can also use your scribing tool as well and actually scratch some of the wax off. So if I just take the scriber here like this and just go work into it and scratch a little bit off, just show you little bits. You can just add, highlight little bits here and there. It just adds a different effect to it. But just little bits adding into it. And here is that finished result. Yeah, using the starter set there with your iron, uh, your 16 wax blocks and 40 of the assorted white card and the scribing tool and of course your instructions 49.99. Now, if you have already got some wax blocks and this is, you know, uh, reinvigorating the creativity, uh, then you can get the pick and mix wax blocks as well if you need more of that clear or that white, because I know they always go first. Then it's 9 99 choose any eight seven three six two zero one. There's loads of colours, including those metallics that uh, Shona was just referring to on the uh, video. Now let's give you some of more of those extra tools as well. Now this is your three-edged comb triangle, and as you can see, you've got the different serrated edges, the different teeth, if you like, to give you those different textures. That one's a really good one. I've seen might use that one a lot, and Shona, beautiful. So you know when you want to create those waves of movement, really useful. And again, the sponges, the different sponges, you're going to get that lovely stippled effect because of the openness of the circles in there and then more of a tighter foam sponge there again just to create those different effects and that's an entire set um 1599 076 855 lovely accessory they're going to use that comb so much it's, it's brilliant now um shona was referring to perhaps using some of your um you know your, your tools so yeah i oh know i only have to touch today so we've got this set of five and you can see all the different sizes there so going from zero one to up to zero and um, five so different sort of chiseled edges on the diameter on the round the circular the large more of a chisel flat end there as well on the large and the small so you are getting all five of those in the silicon rubber tipped tools 17.99 again they move the wax they scrape the wax they just create those different um elements on the wax itself 147209 a great uh, accessory set now the rubber brushes as well for the larger movement for the larger pieces because I've seen Mike and Shona do some of the really big elaborate uh, pieces as well so this is a pack of the two and you can see there is that rounded flat edge all rubber as well so it's really going to manipulate and move that um, wax and then that sort of tooth edge as well there reminds me of the castle turrets doesn't it so again to create that different effect so again both brilliant within caustic art and that is 2099 130978 now you do need the sealed um painting card as it were and that's what's different because it kind of has almost almost like um it feels like a kind of a, a gloss surface, you know, because it won't work on your other card. So it is high quality sealed card for the encaustic artwork. And this is your A6 size and you are getting, sorry, A4 size, your A5 and your A6 size. 300 GSM and you're getting, uh, as you can see, 40 and 20 and 10 respectively of each of those. That's a really nice mix there for 9.99. So you can do the assortment of projects, 229395. Now, obviously, what uh, Shona was showing you, if you'd gone back in with the heat, you could just wipe that because you can see how quickly it dries. If you want to seal it and obviously protect it and you don't want it ever to uh, be ruined, then this is something to use for your final projects there. The wax sealant, it comes in that large tub there, 150 millilitres there, and uh, it'll just seal uh, your artwork and protect it there. So, um, yeah, so it's there for all time. Brilliant, 999 109 387.
And the stamps, now these are the ones that Shona mentioned. These are individual, you choose which ones you want because you can use your stamps that you've got, but these are some of the elements that Shona was using in the demonstrations. So the first one is the fantasy. It's always very popular because this ethereal, fairy-like fantasy backgrounds that lend itself to the encaustic art go beautifully with these. You've got castles, you've got almost like leprechauns, you've got fairy moving, you've got the dragon. I love the movement. You can really see the wings moving and it creates that lovely black deep silhouette. Um, these are very, very popular. Love that. Uh, the next option, same 490841, but obviously a different option. This is the holiday season. As you can see, the deer, the star, the chicken, you've got all the seasons there, haven't you? The hens, the rabbits, the chicks. Uh, something for the winter, something for the Easter, something for the Christmas. I recognise that little man with a hat and the nativity scene there as well. So this one's called Holiday. The first one's called Fantasy. Next, we've got, as you might guess, animals. Yes, you've got a lovely stork there, the birds, the frog. He's very active, that frog. The butterflies. Uh, yeah, you've got all, all the elements there of the different birds. Yeah, is that a hummingbird, do you think? Um, yes, Roger the frog, is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is he called Roger, is he? It's Roger the horse. Uh, and then you've got the horsey there. That's my, 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 my producer. She's got a horse called Roger. He was lovely. Uh, and then we've we got a frog as well. Uh, and then we've got uh, the nature. Yeah. Palm trees, trees, fir, co fir trees. Yeah. Every element there in different size. 1199 490841. You choose which one you so desire. Okay, well, let's go back to Shona now and Mike and see the. Oh, I think they're using the tree stamp, the nature stamp. And I think, yep, yeah, let's go to see how those stamps are used. The next little demo I'm going to show you is using rubber stamps. And we've got a selection on the show today. So this is the pack I'm actually got to use one from. I'm going to use the tree um, from this one. Um, but there's, I'll just show you quickly some of the other stamps we've got. We've got this other set that's nature, which is really nice to use. And then we've got this other set, which is the animals and uh, Santa. And so it's called holiday stamps for all different types of uh, occasions. And then this one is um, really, really popular because it's the fantasy one. And they're really quite easy to use because most of the things are flying in the air or in swimming in the sea. But I'm going to use a little um, tree. So I'm just going to use an ink pad. So you don't want a pigment pad, you want an ink pad for this job. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp, just like you would normally if you're a stamper. So just inking it up. And then just placing it on the picture. And what I'm going to do with it, it doesn't matter if there's a little bit that's missing or anything like that. Um, it's fine, just get put that to the side. So normally at home you would just leave it to dry, but because we're in the studio and time is uh, different, I'm just going to speed that up by putting the bit of tissue at the top and just using the iron just to take away the excess ink. So it'll be a tiny, tiny little bit paler because I've took a little bit of the ink off, but it's dry now. When you're using stamps, you must use clear wax because you want the colours to be more translucent. If you use um, opaque colours, you'll hide the stamp, as you'll see as we're working. So I'm going to put where the iron is now going to go over the card. This is going to be like my sky area and the hills and the, the base. I don't want this to be too dark, otherwise it'll hide it. Yeah. So I'll just show you now, putting a bit of clear on that middle part of the iron, because that's where the biggest part is going to go, or the... Um, the tree and I'm just going to put in a little bit of the opaque up there, the blue and then a little bit of this blue here and just adding little bits of the, the green and little bits of the, the, the brownie colours at the bottom here so it's just like a, a little wash over I'm going to do here so you just see the colours there that I've got in the iron and then just washing over it to get the look that I want so you can go at it a few times till you get the look that you like and again you can just work up into the picture a little bit and then because when you move back and forth you take the colour off as well so you see how it's starting to build up here so I'm just going to add, fill in round about it so it doesn't look like the trees just floating in a nothingness area so when you do this part you're using the middle of the iron for um, to create this and if you see I'm mixing two or three different colours here because I want a heavy foreground for the tree to be based in so I'm just sort of putting a lot of wax onto the base here and still at the moment it looks like it's floating there because you can't quite see but you can 
move just shove some wax up like this so it can actually look like it's hiding behind some stones and things like that and again just like a little bit of the dabbing um, at the foreground so it's very easy to get a result if you kind of draw or paint or you know you feel that you kind of paint uh, too much detail but if you wanted to make that look even more authentic um, and it no, no look like a stamp one of the things that you can do is use one of your styluses so this one is the stylus pro I'm using you can use either stylus for this and they've both got the drawn tip with them and so you can just actually um, colour over your stamp and if you colour it over it then you know you've got to know it was there and it's got to look like you've drawn it so that's one way you're doing it so I'll just show you a little bit of that so if I just add a little bit of the the brownie colour here and maybe a little bit of the green as well a bit like what I've done before with fence posts it's the same sort of idea you're just sort of you know going over the shape that you've already done and it just sort of flows out So it's very easy to get a result with it like that. So that's one, one technique. And again, you could either put the brush head on the end of your stylus and use the brush to actually add the leaves, or you can use the iron as a little mini hot plate. And this is what I quite like to do. I just sort of feel like put it down here. And then what I'm going to do is put some color on here. And I'm going to make it look like it's a bit like a cherry tree um, in bloom. So I'll just show you a little bit. So I've got my pink and my burgundy type colour here. So the cherry tree, I'm just using a little, um, like a little hog's hair brush. And then all you've got to do is just sort of like dab. Just get a, sort of mix a few different colours in there. Even maybe a little bit of white in it as well. Make it a bit paler. You don't need to cover the whole thing, you know, because it's just taking the eye into the picture. So suddenly you've got like a little cherry tree there. So you see how how it looks like that. So you can also remember to polish it as well. And if you think that that's you finished with it, then you can just leave it, or you could sort of make it look like some of the petals have actually fallen down. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to load up my brush like this and then <clears throat> I'm just going to use my finger and just flick it like I used to do when it was like snow but it's just like some of the petals are starting to come off you can even put some because it's quite nice when you're driving along the road and you see the cherries of uh, flowers have fallen off and there's this lovely big um, bit underneath the tree that's covered in pink blossom so again just get a light polish and that's it picture done and here's that exact same card yes that blossom looks amazing on this card as well have a little closer look at that it's like it's falling from the tree that is it there that uh, Shona beautifully demonstrated there absolutely fantastic isn't that amazing? It really looks like it's just caught in the wind. There's a lot of blossom on the ground at the moment, isn't there? Have you noticed that on your walks? Anyway, let's uh, show you the Stylus Pro. Um, it is uh, allowing you to have that much hotter heat setting, of course, for, for, for uh, much thicker work and uh, more wax work. It also comes with the oblon end, and you just screw those in, the brush end and the stylus, and then you've got that abrasive, um, so that smoothing um, paper there to take off any abrasive ends there, the abrasive paper. So you've got a, just a bit more control there with the Stylus Pro. And um, like I said, it can... It's got that heat setting, so you know the the the, the basic pro, the stylus itself, the other one um, is, is is just one heat setting. Whereas this does allow you more manipulation of the wax itself, and you can choose whether you want the EU plug or the Euro plug nine eight seven two zero eight, and you've got that stand there as well while you're not working on it. Um, now. We've got the hot plate as well, which I think is absolutely fantastic. You've got this fantastic anodized uh, thick plate here and the iron itself just slides into the bottom so it heats it up. Let me just grab the iron from the starter kit. Um, obviously you take the handle off, but it literally just slides in and locks into place. And that is then 
the plate itself on the underside of the iron. It takes a, a, a little while. Well, the, the, what does she show? 15 minutes, does she want to say? Heat up, because you can see how thick the anodized plate is. But what it does mean is you can either apply the wax there and then put your card onto that, or have your card on top, and then with your wax block, you literally are going straight working onto it there because obviously that is heating through that sealed card and you can just work straight away and with your stylus pro have that greater uh, manipulation so absolutely absolutely brilliant there two flexes by phone is a 38 pounds 70 got a free discount on that zero two four three six nine the starter kit is the way to go forward um but if you want to see obviously the hot plate and the stylus pro in more well more action and actually all the different accessories you can actually get for the stylus pro as well in terms of the 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 the, the tools at the end then let's have another look at um sharon and mike this is the stylus pro it's got two heat settings and an off see the little red light goes off the boost settings just for the bigger tips and all the tips you can see are here there's lots available you can get them on pick and mix the three that come with it, the drawing tip, brush head, and the oblong. I did this picture this morning on the compact hot plate, and I left this edge under the heat proof tape. So I'm just gonna take a couple of colors, show you how the stylus works. And that slot there is filling up with wax, and then I can draw a line. So I can draw down here, and I can make a nice line all the way down. I can also make spots. Cleaning. Just wipe it out on a piece of tissue. If you want to be thorough, take some clear wax. And you'll get all the wax out. You can also shade. So if I take some white wax and put it in here, this brown will mix with it. I can put some little white spots or brownie white spots around it. So you can embellish your artwork using the stylus. Basically, it makes lines and spots. allows shading. I want to change the tip. Switch it off. It's still hot mind, but if you take a tissue, grip really firmly, and then turn the handle, the tip will come off. This one's still cold and just turn it back the other way. Till it's tight. And the cable will then not be all raveled up. Switch it back on. And you're ready to go. Using A5, I want to show you how to create a background. So I'm just going to put some color on, but I'm not going to cover the whole of the iron. Normally, you probably think I do. But here I can just put the iron down and lift it, and it'll leave some areas uncovered. One little tip is that if you want to have an area like this coloured, you can just use your finger to smudge the colour. Like that. The star that I put onto the Stylus Pro is now warm, so I can take that and just place it and lift, place it and lift. So I can start adding decoration just by using this existing shape. You can wriggle with it as well, you don't have to always just use it as a star. Where there's no wax, nothing happens. This is the regular single heat stylus, and I've got it fitted with a brush tip. 
So now when I touch the brush down on here, and the same thing is true for the Stylus Pro, I can melt the wax that's there and start moving it around. I can melt it into the block and make it flower. Cleaning, just put it down onto the tissue and pull. Using the drawing tip, I can just follow lines, make this into a landscape. Just using the little birds suddenly makes it somewhere to go. Or I could just make it into an abstract. There's so much you can do using the stylus. Remember shading. The colours mix. Metallics. Always add a bit of sparkle. Just following the line that's already there. And the dragonfly. And if you've got a compact top plate, remember it's powered by the iron. Then you just put it down. And of course you could put this on there. A little bit of clear wax just to stick it down. And this will now become liquefied. You can just keep on working and working. There's no rights, no wrongs, just what feels good. A little palette knife can be quite handy if you've got one, just to help you lift it off. Roughly clean the hot plate. Of course you can put colours straight onto the hot plate. And then take a card. Use a pad to just press it down and then pick up a corner and lift it up. It's another way of creating a background. Of course whilst the colour's there you might as well do more than one. You can twiddle it around and then pull it up. Another way of creating a background. Of course you can use the iron now, so I can get rid of this at the bottom for instance. Do my normal dabbing. I 
maybe wipe some colour away. It's not quite warm enough. Just warm it back up. If you want more colour, just wipe it on. And then we can take the stylus to add in a little castle, for instance. Blend it in at the bottom. And all I'm doing here is closing the space. Stylus Pro, Scriber, the iron, and the compact top plate. Thanks for watching today, and bye. No, it's not like me either. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Thanks for being with us today. Hope you enjoy the demonstrations. See you next time. Bye. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family absolutely and take advantage of those fantastic savings that unlimited standard delivery for the month you can opt in you can opt out now i just want to show you the completed uh, projects uh, from mike there so this was i really love this using the pro stylus um i mean i mean you could hold it whichever way around you want and you're using that um the, the star on the end, you know, you can get those different stylus tips as well. But uh, isn't that magnificent? Really like that as well. And then the second one, sorry, that's upside down. And there it is again, the finished product there as well that Mike was doing there in that demonstration. So really lovely there. But of course, if you, you know, if you're thinking, well, uh, I could get the starter kit, but I uh, you know, I'd need the videos of, of Mike and Shona. Well, do not worry because we have the book and the DVD with 110 minutes. It's a double disc set 
And there you've got it. They take you through the basics of the encaustic art, you're using the iron, you're using the stylus, you're using the scribing tool. And, you know, the book is a great accompaniment because that is also a step-by-step -step of projects taken out of the D the video of the DVD and it brings it back to life, you know, and it, it you know, works alongside the DVD content. So it's a, it's a great reference point in terms of photos and instructions. So this is a great dynamic duo. You might have got encaustic art yourself, you know, it's in the cupboard, you haven't picked it up for years, and you're just thinking, oh yeah, that would be great to create some fantasy images or some interesting backgrounds. Or maybe you're thinking, you know what, I could do with that pro stylus tool or get myself some scribing tools in there as well or the wax sealant. You know, just, just get those little extras there as well that we've got on the show today to uh, further the art form. So this is a great uh, starter set there in terms of, you know, reinvigorating that hobby or, or getting you started on that journey. Get your stamps out as well because it works alongside your stamps. So we've got obviously the fantasy, the nature and the other stamps on the show anyway, but you, you can work alongside your own stamps. £14.98 for the book and the DVD, 876643. So we've got the uh, the stylus itself. So this is just the heat stylus, uh, not to detract from the pro, but this will just get you on your journey in, in terms of creating those details. So the only difference here is you just have to uh, use a um, uh, cross, yeah, Phillips screwdriver there, and you've got the pro stylus there, and you, sorry, the stylus nib there, and you've got the brush stylus. Just to insert those, you can choose the UK, UK or Euro plug as well, and it's just for those extra detail bits, you know, those finer points, the application of the wax straight onto the card itself, just to create um, and have more control and detail there. Fourteen ninety nine with two of those drawing tips. Eight one nine seven two three. Now the starter kit as well, brilliant, because you've got your 16 blocks of your wax, including the clear and the white. You can get your pick and mix of your wax on the website as well, 9 99 choose any eight. We've got those lovely metallics, loads of colours on there. You've got 30 of your A6 sealant card. Now you do need that for obviously that wax to work across the surface there to glide. You've got your uh, kind of scribing tool double-ended there as well. You've also got 10 of the A5 side size as well and as well as the uh, fantastic selection of the wax blocks which do go a long way you've got your iron as well so this just slides out uh, just press the button like so it's got the different heat settings you can manipulate the wax like you would the iron or you know you can slide it under the side there and literally use it as a heat plate as well so anyway it all packs down nice and neat also so uh, re really really good handy tool there and that's all in your fantastic starter kit and you've also got the starter set guide so um, yeah brilliant it'll take you through it nice great gift that and explaining as Shona did in a lot of the videos about how to use that um, yeah absolutely amazing so that is your starter kit there, £49.99, saving £10, 119604, and we've got that on two flexi-buy payments of £25. Now, the pro stylus now as well, which Mike was just using in that latter video. So, again, you can choose the Euro or the UK plug. It allows more heat. It allows you to literally go into the block itself you've got those double heat settings so sort of the large wax projects you've also got the oblong tip you've also got the brush tip you just screws in and it allows all those other tips that you can get on the website as well to be applied and you've also got your actual um, drawing tip there as well so that comes uh, with a freedom discount there 30 pounds 59 987 208 uh, the hot plate, yeah, again, which you saw might use, and you just put the iron underneath. It's got that anodized plate, so you can actually, I think we saw might use both ways there, uh, put the wax directly onto the anodized plate, and then you can just put, pop your card on to lift it up, and then again and again and again. Um, you can actually put your card onto the plate itself and then work directly with your wax onto it. Once you put your iron underneath, that is, you, you know, you of course put iron underneath, that is what heats through that thick anodized plate. It takes about 15 minutes just to warm up and then, you know, you can change it, redo it. Brilliant, brilliant, uh, you know, accompaniment to the encaustic art. Got that on two flexi buy payments of £38.70, saving you £12.16. You've got a freedom discount there as well, 024369. 
Now, we've got other accompaniments on the show as well. We've got the sponges. I've seen Mike and Shona use this fantastic tooth comb because you've got three uh, different edges on the comb set. That sort of serrated edge, the large. I mean, it just creates such lovely movement in the work. Really, really handy. Um, that's that's fantastic. And then you've got the sponge with the larger stippled effect, the smoother sponges as well to create the shapes, different edges, different corners. Great little accompaniment set there. Your rubber comb and triangle sponge set, 1599-076855. And the wax mover assortment. And again, you can see from the tibets, different edges there. You know, you've got your chiseled, angled edge there. You've got your flat chiseled edges there. And you've got your round and the small and the large there as well. So again, just to create different movement, different effects with the wax. And that rubber tip allows that malleability. 1799-147209. And the rubber brushes, again, for larger works, you know, more extensive work, create more sweeping. And they're lovely, lovely and flexible. We really glide across that wax as it's warm and heated. And then obviously creating those two effective edges there. Um, you've got those for 2099, And if you want your larger projects, we've got the sealed card, A5, A4, and A6. It's a mixed bundle, 999. And uh, that is a whole collection there. Uh, you get 40 of the A6, 20 of the A5, 10 of the A4, 999, This is the wax sealant then as well, also on the web. Do check out the stamps as well, the nature, the fantasy, the animals, and, um, ooh, what was the other one? Uh, seasons, wasn't it seasons? Uh, holidays, the holidays. Yeah, we've got those on the website as well. Do enjoy the show. We have the encaustic art at three o'clock and obviously seven o'clock tonight. If you want to watch back those videos, which are very comprehensive, I want to say a massive thank you to Mike and Shona. And uh, yeah, a great new hobby to start you out. And it's such, such fun. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the show, but we are going to join Leonie now again for the one day special. Thank you for watching. <music> Yes, we've got the All and Create One Day special, amazing stamps and stencils. And then there'll be a repeat of Ali's Stitchy Fingers and her new projects. And then we'll return to the All and Create One Day special. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies, and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals 
and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, very good evening to you. Yeah, you join myself and Leonie and All and Create for the one day special. Now, we have a fantastic launch at uh, six o'clock and half the stock has gone of the one day special. Yes, indeed. So uh, just to give you the heads up, if you love this, which I know you're going to, then make sure to pop it in your basket and don't forget to check out. So what are you getting? You are getting two of the A4 stencils and a floral wings stamp set. So let me show you these because they are really rather special and absolutely spectacular. So have a little look at this, that beautiful butterfly wing and that flourish of fauna there absolutely stunning the intricacy the detail there it really is beautiful and don't forget everything will be dispatched on the 18th of may so that's one of your stencils and then if i just turn this around there is the other and you can just use those component parts elements of so detailed they really are uh, so innovative aren't they all and create we love 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 the design team so they are the two amazing stencils maybe for your art journals uh maybe for your mixed media but hey ho just take a look at this set of stamps oh my word we've got a butterfly with that oh the detail the amount of time it must have gone into the design is exquisite and then I love the fact that you've got the body of the butterfly separate so you can manipulate that half on and you've got this you've got this imagery there uh, the bridge the stony bridge the river you've got that tree and then you've got this kind of um grid like bulb electric sort of map there I just I just think it's amazing it's almost like a grid of a map and a bit of scribing in the background there so that is all part of your one day special 39 pounds 97 saving you seven pounds and I've got to show you some of the uh, fantastic Ah, oh, look at that, you see. This is what Leonie was doing earlier. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So we've got that on two flexi by pens of 1999 Now, also new, we have got the stencils. Again, all in Create. They are the forerunners. They are the innovators. They are the ones with the ideas that everybody else copies, quite frankly, because these are just stunning. I mean, look at this. Two amazing stencils. Just cool and really sizable. That's just it. It's, they're a good size, aren't they? So you've got to use the whole thing. You can just use an element of, the, you know, going off the edge of the page there. I love that because I think it could be a space. It could be, uh, well, it could be planets. It could be, yeah, well, Jimmy sees something else weird. Crop circles. <laughs> I don't see crop circles, but that's that's my director. Um, yeah, I don't know, stars. I, I just think it's brilliant. It reminds me of something like the Hubble telescope, that one. And this, yeah, 
you were doing your colouring. Isn't that beautiful? You see, I see little ladybugs coming out of the uh, out of the grasses there. That's just me. Uh, oh, they're just beautiful. So we've got these two for fourteen ninety eight. Enchanted Garden and Sundew, eight five zero eight seven one. But it, if you want the entire bundle, which is what's been so popular tonight, and I don't blame you because how could you separate the magic? You can carry those savings over from the first bundle and you get the freedom discount on having the whole bundle, which takes it down to a mere 49.46. And that is also available on Flexi as well. Two Flexi buy payments of £24.73. Now, a third of the entire stock has gone. So I just want to show you some of the ones that um, Leonie was working on. You see, look at that stamp. Look at that stamp. Isn't that the Billy Goat's Gruff the one to be trot across that bridge there? I love it. And then this is the one. Oh, in Leone's words, boom. She wasn't sure about the gold leaf, but look at the magic and look at the acetate. Isn't that amazing? We love, love, love that. And see that, you know, sometimes you can just keep it simple. Quick card. Look at that. The stencil in the background and then that beautiful stamp in that denim blue. Isn't that stunning? And then again, using those stencils here. And I've got to apologize to Corey. Well, I think we credited those lovely stills of those images to abs. Uh, they were Corey's. Well, we'll have a look at those again, because look at those. And this is using some of the other stamps, actually, we've got on the show for More Than Create as well. But that's using those stencils in all of this collection there. You can see that lovely planetary one. Ah, now this is coloring in elements of the butterfly st uh, stamp. This is Corrie's, yeah, just to reiterate, how beautiful is that? Just coloring in, stamping in your blank black ink and then color in. I mean, it is magnificent. And look at that, that tree, that bridge, that sort of almost, that's, that's almost like the, 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 the weathered element of the butterfly wing there, just crackling. Ah, and the electricity, the heat from those bulbs. Oh, it's just joy and then that like, matte grid in the background i just love it i think it's absolutely fantastic so uh yeah brand new today and proving very very popular thank you to corrie for those beautiful now in that card i just showed you we saw these fantastic clocks because we've seen the stats before but not in this configuration so uh let's just have a quick reminder because these are sizable stamps so this is the clock face stamp yeah this is a great stamp um You've got the grid work, you've got the cogs. You, it's almost like uh, on a design sheet, someone's sitting down at the board there. The blueprint, yeah, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. Brilliant, love, love, love that stamp. So that's one set. Then you move on and it's almost like, um, again, a mixture of grids and splashes and feathers and paint drops and, you know, they're random, but the cohesiveness of the way in which it works together is not random. And that's what's so brilliant about the designers there at All and Create, isn't it? Because random would just look like an odd mishmash, but gosh, it all just works together so beautifully. And then we get the, um, the paint splashes and the rings, almost like the rings on a table when you... Ooh, who left that coffee cup there, eh? And the stars and again, the script work and the underlining... Just so many layers, isn't it? It's, it's just wonderful. Not that you've got to use it all in one long stamp, you can just use elements of. And then last but not least, you've got those fantastic butterflies in the bumble, which go beautifully. Oh, I never get that right, which there we go. Uh, which I think ties in fantastically with the one of the days special. He's a lovely big chunky bumble, isn't he? We keep getting giant bumbles flying in and then I have to sort of gently coax them out with me feather duster. It's not really a feather duster, it's kind of like a fluffy duster thing, but you don't want to harm them and you're trying to kind of coax out these giant bum They're like big blunderbusses, aren't they, when they come in? Beautiful. That's I love that stamp. It's got so much texture to it. Anyway, you get all four of those for £45.96, Beautiful. And last but not least, we've got the stencils and the stamp sets. I'm very keen to uh, go over to Leone. Uh, and this is a dynamic duo. Great little duo here. Because again, all the texture, all the elements there. And we've got the stamp to coordinate with that stencil. So that's a win-win. The Lacey Graffiti and I don't know how you pronounce it, Rota Vitae, I suppose. £14.98. And again, what do we, what do we call that? The, the Zen, um, Zen Tangle. Yeah, you could colour that in. I just keep forgetting what I'm trying to say. A bit like the knobbly bits on the website. I couldn't quite get the, uh, the, quite get the name out of the stamp because it just disappeared from view and all I got was knobbly. Uh, there's lots of extra stamps and stencils on the website so do have a look you can shop by um thank you brand uh, uh is the knobbly bit there please tell me the knobbly one is there 
I think uh, I'll leave it over to Leone to find it there. It's definitely there. You'll be able to put me out of my misery. But I'm going to hand straight over to Leone now. He's got some fantastic demonstrations. Fabulous. Uh, did you find the knobbly bit? Where is it? Where Ring of Changes is Yay! the knobbly bit, Fiona. <laughs> boop, boop. Ring of Changes and knobbly bits. Um, there are so many gorgeous stamps. All and Cray, if you haven't collected these yet, now is the time to collect because they're amazing. They're gorgeous. You can do so much with them. Okay, what am I doing? Kind of forgot. I had kind of a plan, but kind of forgot. I, I've remembered, sort of. Yeah, I'm terrible, aren't I? It's like, did I have a plan? I had a plan. Okay, so I'm using one of them stencils. I'm actually going to use it in my art journal. Obviously, you can use it anywhere. You know, it's completely up to you. I'm hoping it's clean. It is relatively clean. I know that makes a change for me, but now I'm being very naughty and using my um, tape. So, this is your uh, thingy tape, thingy tape, washi tape. I'm being naughty because I'm actually using it as a low tech tape, but I'll still be able to use it afterwards. I must admit, when I were doing uh, playing at home, I've got strips of this now on my dining room table. So you will be able to use it after. I'm trying to sort of stick it down a little bit, but don't worry. Now, I tell you what I were going to do, and I forgot if the truth be known. I were going to find my... I've got um, a little tack adhesive spray that I had on the other day when I were doing the... Um the the Pinty Show and it's a really good low tack spray adhesive. I was going to get that and then utterly forgot. I've literally only just remembered now. Uh, but I would normally use that for this technique because I want that. I don't really want any gaps on it, but um, we'll do what we will have to do. Now I'm going to use this time in the earlier show. I've had a bit of a run on using. Um, using my little uh, powders, haven't I, my pigment powders. You know how it is, you get your little obsessions, don't you? And at the minute, pigment powders, that's the one. So it is definitely not as flat as I want it to be, so it might not work as I want it to, but we're gonna try it anyway. So all I want to do, first of all, it doesn't matter, because I'm layering up on it. I don't even know why I'm bother worrying, because I'm gonna be layering completely over the top of this. The one I did, you can't even see what's underneath it anyway. So why I'm worrying, but we do, don't we? You know, it's like, oh, oh what are we like? Okay, so. <laughs> Um, oh, boom! Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so, <laughs> I'm actually right on the overhead. I haven't stuck my head in yet. This never happens. You shouldn't have pointed out, Jimmy. We're doomed now. So, get me water spritzer ready. Get me rice paper ready. Ready? Go. Cool. So, let's spritz. Now, I'm trying not to absolutely saturate it, which I normally do. If I not, if I absolutely saturate it, it'll run under the stencil. And as I haven't got um, it glued down completely, then it does mean if it runs under the stencil, you know, you don't get the, the beautiful print. I'm going to put the second print. Obviously, I'm going to pick up some of that with the other side of this paper, which means I will get a second print. Boom which looks good. The excess, of course, I'm going to pick up with my rice paper. As ever, the rice paper, it's brilliant because you're not going to uh, waste the colours. So it's not like picking up with a bit of tissue and wasting that. You absolutely won't. In fact, I tell you what, if you watch, did, it, did you watch? Did you watch the launch? I'm chatting to you now. But I know some people do answer me because we we had, I do believe it, with Jeanette emailed in a little while ago saying she answers me when I ask questions. So I don't feel as daft knowing that people are out there answering. So if you watched the first hour and I did, um, oh, I've lost my train of thought. Oh, and I did the um, the thing with the acetate. If you've, you, if you've got rice paper or, or just something like this, if you do acetate and put that under the acetate, you, that is a really nice way of using it. So, um, on the adhesive. So use your rice paper and stuff like that. So that's my first background, love that. That is one of the stencils that you're getting. As I say, I will be able to use that tape. So I'm not gonna waste that, obvious. Oh, and maybe that bit I'll waste because it's gone all yucky. But um, some of that tape I'll definitely be able to use. And I like that because I like the, hello, I think it's marvellous. I do like my washi tape. I've got a lot of washi tape now. Okay, happy with that. I think it's marvellous. Um, next layer. Now, 
I've got the straight lines, which I quite like. I thought that looked quite cool. But you can, if you want to, if you want to just sort of pull out some of the lines. Do you know what I mean? You can actually play with it a bit. So you can play with the sort of the 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 sort of it coming out of the page, which I always like. So just kind of extending that one there. And then where else shall we extend it? Let's extend it there as well. So this, and I'm literally just dragging the, the pigments and because all I need to do is add water to it and you'll be able to drag those pigments. And I quite like that, it coming out. I feel that something else needs to come out on the top. Let's have a little look, see. So I, I, all, oh, there you go. So you do that, that's where, and that's exactly where you put your arm in. Um, obviously, obviously. So what I'll do with this one is just drag one of these up here like this. So I'm following the stencil line, but changing it. So following the stencil, so it, it's coming out of the page. And I, I love things like that, because it changes the look of it com completely, but it makes it, it's quite visually interesting, isn't it? Right, now, next, we absolutely change this, because, just bear with me, I'm doing that thing where I'm turning back on you again. Um, and just finding my paints, bear with you. Talk amongst yourselves, everyone. What did you have for your tea? I had soup. I made myself some carrot soup the other day. I made two lots of carrot soup and two lots of cauliflower soup. Yep, and all right. You know what I'm doing? where you actually nail it, and it's like, I've made soup for four days. Nailed it, I'm nail nailing this, this life at the moment. You shouldn't speak too soon, should you? Because now, wherever I put me... Oh, right next to me. <laughs> um, okay, so what we're going to do next is... Um, and I'm using really bright pink. Now, the paint I'm using, I adore this stuff. Um, this is the liquid acrylic. This is my Finibar um, acrylics. I absolutely adore these. So all I'm doing is layering. So I've taken my first layer. I'm then going to take that other stencil because it's fab and it's cool. So taking that stencil and we're popping that in there. Taking the paint and just going to decant a little bit of the paint. I don't need much because it's such a strong, gorgeous paint. Um, it is busy, even at this time of the evening, it is busy. Again, you know what to do. If you want it, just go for it. Just check your baskets out. Okay, so taking my stencil brush. Now, this stencil brush, I chopped it down so it's not very straight, to be fair. I didn't wash it properly, so I kind of ruined my stencil brush, so I just chopped the end off where I ruined it. Okay, and let's get that amazing bright colour in there. So I'm just going in, covering this up, like so. And this stencil brush isn't very good for this, actually. It's too, um, it's too hard. Now, have I got... I might put it on with a sponge instead, because I can't find a decent stencil brush. So bear with me, folks. I'm going to get one of my sponges. OK, that'll have to do. Because my, my stent... I can't be bothered rummaging for me... Um, my brushes okay so let's sponge it on this will be nice and quick anyway now i like this because on the the bits that are whiter you're going to get that beautiful pink on the bits that you've got the color you're obviously seeing under it so you see under the paint then you'll see some of the gorgeous gorgeous colors coming through now the one i did before i could cut it down because obviously i did it on a piece of paper this one i can't cut down because i'm working on my art journal but that's absolutely fine so so i'm not doing the whole thing because i want some variant on the color there we go so just use all my paint up and then so happy with that. I might move that aside. I love this stencil. I love it because it's really funky. You know, it's really just cool, isn't it, quite frankly. Now, I'm going to take my white gesso. So let's use the white gesso. And again, I'm being lazy and using my sponge just for speed. Like so. And you'll see now, obviously, as you put your white gesso in, you can go over everything. So all that, you know, that I was faffing about, covered it up completely. 
I love this because this, you know, when you do layers, it's taken me years to be able, even now I still don't do layers, really serious layers. You know, you watch some artists and my word, they'll take something, they'll do this really cool background then utterly, completely cover it up. I'm still not that brave, but for me, this is pretty brave. But it's funny because you do still faff with that bottom layer, well I do. And then think, don't matter, love, you, you're you going to cover it up. When I've been teaching classes and we've done things like this, you know, you, you say, don't worry too much, because you're literally going to be covering it all up. There we go. Now, can you see that colour? That colour has gone green because I'm picking up the colour underneath. So, um, because I've used pigments and you're still introducing a wet, like a wet product over the top, you'll pick up those colours. So, if you don't want to pick up the colours, then um, just keep cleaning your sponge or your brush, whatever it is you're using. Okay, let me have a little look, see if I'm happy with this. There we go. And of course, once this is dry, I mean, if you leave your, uh, leave your pigments, once it's dry, you can go back over the top. I like it because at the minute, I'll be dead honest with you, at the minute I look at that and go, oh, I'm not, it's not too keen on that. But this is a lovely thing about it, isn't it? You know, it, you just play. You just have a little go and just keep working on it until you're happy with it. And if you're not happy with it, you can always go over just with white gesso and then get rid of everything. Okay, let's have a little look, see how this looks when we take that off, shall we? Ready? I have no idea what it'll look like. Boom. Ooh, I like that. Yep, I'm well happy with that. So you've got all those fabulous, fabulous colours. Okay, now... This is interesting because you've got a bit here and a bit here. Now, because of the way it's, um, because of the way I've actually designed this, it means now I want to create some kind of um, visual block. So, if I take my black gesso like this, and I'm going to come down the black gesso. So I'm literally going to bring my gesso, and that will become sort of almost blocking it in. So where it was, um, where my paint, I got a bit carried away with my paint, this will block it. And it's almost like, you know, when we do our lines on um, to create our frames with our drawing pen, same kind of thing, but I'm using my black gesso. And your black gesso, don't, you know, just, just go for it. Don't worry about it being perfect by any means. Because a black gesso can look really striking. So I'm having that, and then I'll just do a little bit here, like so. And it's so interesting how it changes the look of the page. Because you're deciding where the page ends, you're deciding what, you know, what's part of that main frame. So drawing, where you're drawing the eye in. And I quite like that. I do get a bit carried away, though. I did this when I was playing at home, hence why. Um, I didn't get that much done playing about with that. Okay, so that's my first layer. Now, second layers. What I thought was, I was going to bring the butterfly into this, but I thought, you know what, I'm not sure. I'd cut out that butterfly, but I thought it's quite a heavy background and I really love this image. So I've decided not to use that one. I did cut out that butterfly with it, which again, I absolutely adore, but I'm not going to use the butterflies. What I'm going to use instead are um, the beautiful. Now these are from, you know, the extra stamps that we've got on the show. So we've got the wonderful clocks. So you've got the two clocks there. You've then got the the circles. And these are just so cool. Because, again, you can do so much with these. I did cut out more than that. And do you know what? I have lost my cutting out. Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> it's there on the page. I was just going to get really angry at myself then because I spent ages cutting out. And I'm not, you know, cutting out sometimes. You just feel not, you know, feels like you're wasting quite a lot of your life. Um, so... That's my cutty out bits. Now I'm going to bring in my washi tape. So you look at my cutty out bits while I go and rummage yet again, this time for washi tape. I won't tell you what I have for my tea. We've already done tea talk. <laughs> done tea, tea talk. Tomorrow, I think it'll be cauliflower soup. <laughs> and so I don't forget to bring it into work. I've even put it in freezer at work. Boom. 
it's so good having a freezer at work, isn't that Andy? So, and it's a big old freezer. Yeah, in summertime, it's absolutely rammed with um, ice lollies and stuff. It's really handy. Okay, so what I'm going to do, just pop a bit of washi tape on. I thought this would be lovely with washi. I use a lot, I've, I've got a lot of washi, and I thought I should start using it more. And projects like this, it works. You know, because now, if there's bits you want to break up, um, you break them up with your washi. It just adds another layer of interest to it and obviously with this it's just doesn't that work you know just a tiny bit of washer i think that looks so so cool and it just makes it look really quite interesting good in it little bit of washer love a cheeky bit of washer so we got that and i do like this one it's the i've got a the gold on, I think that looks quite nice. And just a hint of the gold, so I'm popping a little bit at the top there, like so. Your washi tape, because I've got all sorts going on here, if it doesn't stick, because sometimes I've found, if I'm using too many layers, my washi doesn't like it. If it doesn't, glue it down, it's fine. Just slap a bit of glue on. See, I like that. Just little bits of gold here and there. I think that looks cool. Even though I'm being random, it needs to be straight, otherwise that'll do me head in. I can't go to jaunty angle. I'm not really one for jaunty angles, believe it or not. There. Okay, happy with that. And then I'll just put another little bit. You can get carried away with this, can't you? There, like that. Beautiful. Really like that. Okay. So got me washer and then we're going to bring in the gorgeous clocks. So you just need to decide where you're going. Now this is why the edge works because you've created an edge for your clocks to work down. Without that they kind of sit in the middle of your page but because I've created this edge with the black gesso it means even if it's got a gap there doesn't matter your clocks will fit there you've then got obviously all your circles so you can start working out where these want to go and I like this because now you're you're absolutely building a page you know you've got all these lovely little elements and you start bringing all of these in now of course you need these to pop so just putting them on in black and white is not going to work see how cool that is because you keep your and it's lovely because on the actual stamps it has them in a line so just follow the stamps so before I stick these on now I've got some white gesso left you can't have white gesso left and not use it can you so I'll just clean off my paintbrush we'll get the the gesso and obviously we need to do some good old drips move that some splashes so create some splashes because you should it's the rules especially if you've got white gesso left it's the right thing to do it's the right choice <laughs> um so getting a few splashes on there quite a few splashes you can't go wrong with a few splashes can you there happy with that and that means now i don't mind cleaning up the rest of that gesso and i will actually clean up the rest of the gesso as well i'll just spray that i'm attempting to keep this clean <laughs> sean will be like mm, leona mm. Yeah, you and a clean mat, kid. We spend we have to spend three hours scraping that off. Okay, and then start bringing these in. Now you need them to pop, so this is where you bring your colour in. I've got um, pens, and I'm using our lovely Phil Martin's pens, um, which are lovely. And what I've found is because they've got um, there's a really nice colour palette here so it means I can get colours that will match so all I do with this and I, I don't really want I want it to stand out but I don't want to colour it all in I don't want it, you know I don't want to completely have it coloured I quite like seeing some of the clock so what I did with these and I won't colour them all in just again because because so just going around the edge first of all with the blue. I'm picking blue because I've got blue in there in the background which I've absolutely annihilated and you can't see but that's the beautiful thing about layering and it is good it is good when you find that you can be brave with it you know when you start your layering and you, be, you stop bothering that you've just completely covered up the, the one you did originally it's quite nice is that it's quite liberating and I'm just going to move this gently 
It's not moving that much because I'm not idea what card I'm using. Could be anything. But that's cool. And keep, when you're doing things like this, just keep bringing it to your work. Seeing how much you need. Because when you look at that now, just that dark line already lifts that. So you don't need too much. You know, it took me ages to realise it should be that way. It took me ages. It should, shouldn't it? My clock's on side, but that's how I want it. <laughs> I mean, really, it could be coming off the top of my page like that, shouldn't it? Really. But, you know, we're not. Isn't it funny? It's literally because on the stamp set, that's what it's like on stamp set. So I didn't even think, oh, yeah, that's different. So bring in a bit of the green. Now, that green, because, again, there's green in there. This one, however, I do want it a little bit more faded because I know this card isn't allowing me to uh, to watercolour. So I'm going on the glass mat so I can just gently create that colour. Right, so, okay, beautiful. And then go in with the pen again, but this time just a darker, just there on that circle. And I'll just, I won't colour them all in because that will be the end of the show. There we are. That's pretty. And then um, the, the actual handle. So we need that sort of nice golden yellow. So just carefully close to it, do that, like that. And then we'll just do a tiny bit there, like here. So you've got that lovely colour blending in. And then just to make it pop a little bit more, I'm going to go in with a really dark blue and just go around that edge. You could go black, and I normally would, but I'm being lazy and I'm not looking for my black pen. <laughs> I'm honest to answer with you. Okay, now have a look at this. So that's the first one. So if I put that about there, see how much that pops now. That is so much clearer, isn't it? Really comes forward. Um, and then, obviously, you do it with these. With these ones, now, I, you could do anything with that. See, what I love about this, because it's got, like, this paint splatters and so much movement, why, I mean, you don't even need to colour the whole thing in. You know, just bring in a little bit of green in there and then bring in your water brush and just moving that slightly... And then the edges. It's more the edges. It's quite nice having a bit of white on this because you've got a, a really busy background. So then having a little bit of white on the actual stamped images allows that to pop even more, I find. So bringing that bit of green in like so. And it's kind of all watercolory. So again, bringing that on and look. See that bit of green? That absolutely works. So you're going to do that with all of these. Shall I finish this bit and let our fee remind you what we've got? Is that is that good? <gasps> we've got images as well. Oh, our lovely Janice. Um, ja it, wait, wait. Janet, it's Janet. Of course it is. Sorry, I miss hearing you. Oh, lovely Janet. That is beautiful. Oh, now Janet is the queen of drawing around the images. Can you see what she's done there? She's literally taken a fine line of pen and gone round every single line. Janet, that's ridiculously beautiful. That must have taken you hours. That's beautiful. Now, that is so nice because she's just used part of that gorgeous big stencil to create that tag, which looks so effective. Beautiful. Thank you. And then, wow, look at that. That is absolutely exquisite again. So with that one, you can see the wing and then layering it on with a different, that's a different stamp from one of the other sets, but that works beautifully. Looks like a real wing, does that? I don't know if she's done that. And that one, that's lovely. Just using part of that stencil again on a gorgeous background. And you see, that's so, that's an easy one, but ridiculously effective. Beautiful. Uh, thank you, Janet. You're a superstar. Uh, back to our fee. She is. Love those images. They're absolutely fantastic. So let's talk about the one day special. It's proving very popular. And then we'll rejoin Leone. So this was some of the stencils that we just saw Janet using. Look at this. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Everything's dispatched on the 18th of May, just to make that clear. So this is one of the stencils you are getting, the uh, beautiful elegance uh, stencil. And then we've got the... Um, 
Ooh, is this the floral wing? Oh, no, that's, that's the, is this the panache? I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll rename them differently. But anyway, one of them's panache, one of them's elegance, and that is gorgeous. This is the elegance. There we go. The other one's the panache with that big floral bouquet there and that half butterfly wing there. I just love this design on the wing. It's so edgy, isn't it? It's just really gorgeous. And then added to which you are also getting in the one day special, these amazing stamps. Look at these beautiful. So you've got the two wings and the body separate, which I love. And then you've got that complete collection there. And if you saw Corrie's picture earlier when she colored in those flowers, um, it, it looked incredible, didn't it? And I love this, you know, it's almost like a, the, the, the blueprint. Um, that's very engineering with the, um, the light bulbs. And then you've got this tree and the bridge and the water. Oh, this is what Corrie, Corrie did, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that colouring in those flowers. Beautiful on that butterfly, amazing. Big, sizable, striking stamps, even in the black and white, that amazing. Then, as you know, as Leonie was explaining, just picking out certain elements, that's all you need to do. You don't even have to colour the whole thing in. It just looks incredible. £39.97 for the one-day special, 351570 from All and Create. Now, I want to show you two more stencils because we have an even bigger bundle coming up. And this is what the majority of people are going for because it is such great value. So this is one of the stencils. that You have got the Enchanted Garden and sundew isn't that amazing whichever way this is the beauty of the stencils there's no right or wrong for whichever way you're going to hold it or use elements of it just absolutely spectacular and then we've got sundew beautiful isn't it so good all those little sparkly elements it's like a lot of things. It looks like something out of the Hubble telescope. I love it. Uh, so we've got those two stencils there from All and Create for fourteen pounds ninety-eight eight five zero eight seven one. But the majority of you are wisely going for the complete collection because who could separate the beauty? They look magnificent all together because you're not just taking the savings from the one-day special. You're also getting the freedom discount when you buy them all together, and you can you can actually separate that into flexi buy payments as well. Forty-nine pounds forty-six for all of that bundle there 429340 and let me show you some of the amazing amazing uh demonstrations this is from leone earlier on at the six o'clock launch beautiful using the powders there as well and that's it just stamped really easily just like that denim blue isn't that beautiful and using parts of the stencil there in the background this is the one we love with the skeleton leaves what's the dog's name again Mm -hmm. oh, Dave, Dave had to put up with a foraging around in the woods, <laughs> foraging around for skeleton leaves she was, we love that, and uh, there again, isn't that amazing? Ah, oh, beautiful, and then using one, of the, using one of the background stencils there as well, and one of the extra stamps we've got coming up, I know that Leonie was using it as well. So we've got that on two flexi buy payments of £24.73 for the complete bundle, 429340. All right, let's find out how we can uh, create a flexi by payment and then we'll go straight back to Leonie. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is flexi order? When you place an item on flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your flexi buy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. <laughs> I'm rummaging again. Right, I've coloured these in. I thought, I'm I nearly said I thought I'd wait until you came back. It wasn't uh, me being nice and waiting until you came back. What it actually was, was me not finishing colouring them in in time. Um, so, <laughs> what I'm going to do, let's get these stuck in place. So, we'll get that one here like so so i'm using double-sided tape uh, no i'm not i'm using 3d foam tape now i know this is in an art journal but 
it's an art journal. I can use what I want. <laughs> um, but the lovely thing is, sound a bit thing, isn't it? Um, I can do what I want. Uh, the thing is, with an art journal, you you kind of get used to thick pages. You kind of get used to it not sitting flat and that's fine so a little bit of this and that's why your art journals with a nice big um nice ring bound journal with lots of space is fabulous so getting these and i like with my double-sided um foam tape i like this one because it's it's quite fine it's quite a thin tape so it allows me to to create different depth in there so I'm going to pop that one there and that one there. So I've got my edges, got my clocks in there. And then take this one, like so, the little scribbly circles. I love these. And I love it because when you see the stamp, you don't think initially, oh, you know, that's going to be easy to cut out. But as soon as you look at just sections of it, so don't look at it as a full thing, you just look at the circles, just look at little elements, then you will see the parts that will cut out easy. But it is a case of looking sort of into the stamp almost. Like I like looking into my papers. Into the stamp. And then we'll just stick these. I would 3D them, but I'm just... Um, I want to get another demo in. See, they look better 3D, so I am going to 3D them. I'm just um, one, two, three. Right, three circles. I have got the little stars as well. And as soon as you build it up, now, again, the lovely thing with this, you're building it up, it just, it's whatever you want it to be. It's as random as you want it to be, and I love that. I love that sort of random nature of it. There we go. There's my little circles. And my last little circle is going to go at the bottom. Like so. Boom. Nice and random. Um, now, to finish that off, what I would do is turn my back on you again and disappear again. How dare I? How very dare I? But I'm going to get my massive tub of distress uh, crayons. Massive tub of distress crayons. So I'll get the crayons out. If all else fails, just get the crayons. I have a little crayon. Um, and these are fab because now you can get your, your little bit of um, drop shadowing, a little bit of texture in there as well because it's a crayon. You can actually just smudge that in with your water. So you're getting that, oh no, see, straight away, that's well cool. And it, I like this because, boom, because you don't, it's not perfect at all, but it's quick. So with the Distress crayons, um, they don't move unless you put your water, well, they'll blend slightly, but you won't get a, a proper blend unless you put your water on, which is lovely because they're perfect for um for your mixed media let's get rid of that now like that beautiful like that like that a lot and then what i'll do i'll just pop a little bit like that okay so those bits there same again i've got all those colors and the only one i'm using is black it's like leona why have you got five million colors <laughs> why don't you just buy the black crayon obviously your favorite there we go you see nice and quick so i didn't want to spend too long faffing about with this because i thought i'd better show you another demo and i know we're going to be short on time aren't we there we go i'm getting the excess off on my hand because there we go there we go i'll be here oh i will be on a hoarder's show yeah yeah, it will It will just be, it'll be at work and then they'll come to my house and they'll be like, oh my good grief, work with nothing. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, I know, but it'll be all good stuff. It's like people who don't craft don't get it. They're like, you know, like one of my friends, you just need to declutter on him. <laughs> oh no, I, th I think you'll find that isn't what I need. Oh, some people, they just don't get it. Right, okay, I'm happy. I'm really happy with that, actually. Really happy with that. And then all I do is put a word on. I must admit, I'm using my stickers just because they're just so handy. That's why I've been using these. Um, of course, we all uncreate. You've got some beautiful um, 
<laughs> Let's put that one. Cover it with gesso. Um, you've got some beautiful in the whole all and create stamps. You've got some really good. Um, I haven't done one saying gerbil in the cleavage. <laughs> that would be a fabulous stamp, though, wouldn't it? That would be a fabulous stamp. Oh, go and stick a gerbil down your cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> No one will know what that means. I love when you say things in those tones because you can say anything. It can sound really quiet. Like, you know, oh, why don't you go and stick a gerbil down your cleavage? <laughs> uh, no one will know what that meant. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I don't know if uh, people would use that sticker if I invented that sticker, do you? I love that. Doesn't that work? These are such good stamps. That background with that wonderful stencil absolutely works. And all those colours. I love it because the colours blend in. You know, you can see under, but you can see under the print, which is interesting because of that pen. I absolutely adore that. Now, um, what shall we do? Shall I do another quick demo? Yeah, another quick demo. Okay, so I'll bob that down there for a moment and then I'll move that to one side. I'm saving me the demo for tomorrow morning, folks, so you'll have to tune in tomorrow morning. Let's work on a big um, book. So, a big book. I never say book, it's a book. Book. Where did that come from? Who do I think I am? Book. No, book. Book. That's more northern, isn't it? Book. Anyway, book. Book is book posh. <laughs> I do apologise at home. I feel like I might be talking rubbish. Right, so let's get purple because I never really use purple. Bath, isn't it? Bath. Oh no, it's not bath. Bath. It's bath, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's a bath. Bath. Or is it a bath? What do you say, Katie? <laughs> Sink. <laughs> mint a tub, I mint bucket. <laughs> yeah, it is true. When you say a word too many times, it's like, I don't even know what you're trying to say anymore. It's no longer a word. Right, so just going on with my ink. Now, I'm working on my page to apply the ink, but you know what? That's fine because I'm using Distress Oxide. The lovely thing is with it, it'll move. It Like, the ink underneath will move, so even if I move, um, even if I get it and I don't like it, don't matter. So, just going on. Now, with stencils, this kind of... The, it's the way they've been cut and I was trying to see which side or which and I couldn't really tell so one side's kind of got the edge and the other side's more smooth and you'll definitely find that with all stencils because obviously the way the laser cut um, so that means if you use a smoother edge you'll get a better sort of um, print when you do this as a print but if you use the, the sort of the edge that's got the edges you'll normally get the the kind of i don't know it'll be a different print so it'll more, look more like an outline if you will so just going on with the ink you could use ink you could obviously use paints for this whatever you fancy there we go boom so what i'm going to do next so see what i mean with that your background now your background i can leave that because it's distress oxide so i'm not worried my background now this actually looks a little bit cool as it is because it's a distress oxide um we can start moving this round like so so already you're creating a really soft background and this is just from the ink it's just your leftovers you know me, I love things like that because it's repurposing it. I'll get my, my good old rice paper as ever and just pick up the excess. The rice paper, because I've got green on there, and it's transferring the green onto there, but I like that as well. I think that gives it a completely different, um, different look altogether. So, happy with that because I've got all sorts going on there, which is beautiful. Nicole, no, shall I tell you, gang, what we're talking about, Mia? We're now having um, quite a debate. 
the bread rolls is it? That time of the evening where we chat about bread rolls. Is it a ban cake? Is it, is it, um, what are the other ones? A bun? A bun. Oh, is it a chip, chip butter? Oh, boom. And sometimes, is it, uh, what's the other ones that you call it? A cob? What's a cob? Muffin. Muffin. Muffin, chip muffin. Yep, yep. Chip muffin. <laughs> chips, innit? Chips. Bread chips. Butter. Yeah, and the bomb cake, yes. Oh, so many variations. There you go, everybody. Who who needs um who needs breaking news? You can watch Chanda. Any uh, any of that debate on, on the bread roll? <laughs> uh and yeah, it's not I mean you might have heard that before, but let's face it. Everything seems a bit repetitive currently. I've just dropped my stencil, bear with. Oh, and I did drop it, butter side down. But it's okay. Whew, butter side. Oh, it's always the way, isn't it? Apparently it isn't always the way. Apparently some, I were reading some, one of these sort of intellectual types and they said, no, it isn't. It is, you've got a 50-50 chance. But it always feels like it's butter side down. Okay, now I've absolutely wet it through because I want this um, beautiful print on there. I love this stencil. I mean, it's just glorious, isn't it? That butterfly is sensational. I want to press this down. I don't want to use my green, but I am going to do because... Oh, I'm not. Bear with. Sorry, folks. I've hidden the rest of my rice paper. So I'm just pressing that down. Now, hopefully, I've wet this enough so we'll transfer that beautiful image. Now, our Janet, when she does these, Janet gets her drawing pen now. And she'll go around every single line. It looks phenomenal. I mean, when she does her work, oh my gosh, it absolutely looks incredible. But whew, what a lot of work, but it's, it is worth it. Look at that print. Isn't that a beautiful stencil? Beautiful. And you've still got enough ink on there to get another print off that. I'm working in an art journal, so obviously, if you're working in an art journal, of course you're going to try and get a second print. So if I go on, just wet the page and pop it back down again. It's always, always worth doing this. And this time I will pat it down so you're patting it down I'm patting it down this time with my the dirty um, rice paper I say dirty with the green rice paper so I'm obviously going to get the print from the stencil what's left from the stencil I'm also um, inking in between so it's like using um, it's like using a sponge something like that just with inking through it but but obviously your rice paper. It's very interesting. There we go. Okay, let's have a little look, see what that one looks like. Remember, this is only your scrap, so if we don't get anything, oh, but we do, and that looks interesting. Looks really interesting with the green as well. That's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's still ink on that, but shall I hold it up so you can see colours? Shall I see colours? Yum. Because have a look at those colours. Look at the green underneath it. Looks quite cool, that, doesn't it? Can you see? It's bright lights, isn't it? Bright lights. It is a little bit too bright for you to see. There you go. You can see, just about see that green. And then that gorgeous, gorgeous print. Now, that's my second print. So that isn't really my real one. But I, I often, I often don't use my real one. But that's the real one. And you can just, again, see how beautiful this image is. Now, loads of ways of using this one. Obviously, we've got our main butterflies. Now, the main butterfly sits wonderfully over this. I just think it is absolutely stunning, but they all sit beautifully over it. You see, I think that sits wonderfully over this one. So all you do, and let me show you, I am using that. I might change the colour, but I just think that is glorious. So all you need to do, if I just get my... Um, my piece of paper like so so all you need to do just take your paper and take your your gorgeous butterfly and um i am going to use that one this time so using this one i'll just cut this down because i might as well use my stamping platform 
and I'm going to be cutting it out so I know it doesn't need to be a perfect piece of card like so how much time have I got I've been rich three minutes is that all oh, I've been so chilled out haven't I it's funny isn't it I have been a bit too chilled sometimes I mean it's like telly but you're going to this really nice chilled out place which you know what we can't whinge about that can we now i know i'm cutting it out so because i'm cutting it out it doesn't matter that i'm gonna go up the top there i know it doesn't ma need enough room for his full body because i'm only going half um now if you wanted the full body um in the first show of course we did the um oh i'm tempted to do a purple butterfly i'm gonna do black um always oh, stamping black i'm terrible i'm addicted to stamping in black um yeah if you do the acetate that's how and it's a really good way of getting the the matching wings because obviously you just do it in acetate put the acetate one over there even two in acetate but because obviously we asked it you've got the image on both sides so it allows you to flip it so you'll have both sides of the wings and it's a really again it looks really really effective just under two minutes come on pugil so what i'm doing here stamping that gorgeous my ink's running now eventually which is so very annoying um so i will go on i'll actually go on with the blue over the top of it because this is brand brand new come on kid so what you do with this one I, do you know what my um stamping platform um really smells of it smells beautiful but it smells of um <laughs> i think it must be sun cream because yeah well it's something like that but you know where you have um them little bottles when you go on your holidays well i didn't realize it were it were one i'd used for a holiday filled it with water sprayed my papers it, it wasn't it wasn't water i have no idea it made it set it set everything it sealed everything so i couldn't do any technique with it but everything smells fabulous now but anyway enough of that so all you need to do with this you'll then go back in so his little body if you're only going for half the gorgeous butterfly look there you go and that gives you that gorgeous image isn't it beautiful and the lovely thing is with this when you cut it out then you don't need to cut it out as the full butterfly because look when you cut it out and obviously i won't cut the thing out because we've only with 15 seconds you'll cut it out it'll look like that and then you'll oh, stick hi. it in your book See you bye later, bye. Fiona. Are See you back darling. in tomorrow, love? When uh, you... No, next Monday. Okay. Excellent. RFA is back in next Monday. I'll be with you tomorrow morning. 8 a.m. Coming up next is our lovely alley. We are stitchy fingers. Uh, we've then got another chance to watch that beautiful one day special and then the ultimate finish. See you tomorrow at 8. Well, welcome back to all of our lovely viewers from the US of A. It is great to have your company again. Sadly, we weren't able to ship out to you because, of course, there is the coronavirus situation at the moment. Now, really great news. We're managing now to be able to ship back out to you again. However, it is working out to be quite costly because of things changing for us. And the price now is actually $12.95 per item. But... Do not despair because there's a great way around this. If you become a part of our Freedom Members Club, which is $19.99, that is the one payment that you pay for the month. And what that gives you is your packaging and your posting, your shipping basically on the items that you buy. So instead of buying one item for $12.95, use that $19.99 and get your items sent to you. It's the best way to shop. But it's great to have you back. We're so glad that we're able to ship to you over there in the US of A. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our Winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. 
Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. Hello, I'm Hayley and you might have seen me presenting here at Achanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Calling all the Chanda viewers, we have some exciting news for you. From the 1st of April, we will have a new schedule for our one-day special shows. The one-day special will now be shown live at 6pm and 8pm, followed by 8am, 12pm and the final call at 4pm the following day. This means that following your feedback, when we have a special two-hour launch of the one-day special at 5pm and 6pm, both hours will be available live to our free view viewers. So join us from the 1st of April for our new exciting one day special schedule only on Achanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please, Join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello, very good evening to you. My name is Fiona and thank you to Alex for those last few hours. I've got a very exciting hour for you now with the lovely Ali and uh, we've got Ali's stitchy fingers and she's got brand new projects for you. And I've got to say, I absolutely adore Ali when I have the pleasure of working with her here in the studio because her projects are so accessible and um, she does brilliant instructions and what she's got on the show today, you're going to find really useful. So I know there's something we've got for you in this hour long session with Ali today. Now we're hoping to get her on the phone. Uh, and hopefully, you know, if the connection is good, we can talk through all of these projects. She's been kind enough to send lots of videos and instructions as well. But our first set today is this brilliant uh, small batik wallet wallet kit. Now, there's three colorways and um, each one is absolutely beautiful. So your first one, as you can see, the mainstay of the batik is these beautiful pink flowers. And you are getting, uh, obviously, the batik itself, the magnetic clasps, the Decaville light and the Decaville heavy, the fusible interfacing and the bias binding. Everything you need in the kit to put together this beautiful wallet. Now, I think Ali's on the phone, so I'm just going to show you this first of all. Absolutely. And it's Decaville. I hope I pronounced that right, um, is what gives you the rigidity, the, the sturdy element to the wallet itself. You've got interlining there for the um, credit cards or membership cards. You've got a handy purse there with a magnetic clasp. You have your pennies, yeah, or keys, and then it folds over and there's another magnetic clasp, but there's lots of room because you know what happens when there's stuff full of the cards and a bit of the change sometimes, I find wallets, they're just, they're just oh, you can't get that clasp over. Ali's thought about that. She's given you that extra room because that's what, you, you know, when it's full of your wonga, 
Whoa, loads of money. Yeah, maybe not. Just loads of shit. <laughs> loads of change um, but there that's so there's three options that's the beautiful pink we've got this really pretty circles with the blue and then the gorgeous citrus flowers fantastic but I have the fantastic Ali on the phone good evening to you Ali hi Fiona hello how are you my darling I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. That, that's great Brilliant. to hear. I know we've, we were emailing in the week. Um, I'm loving the new projects, Ali. They're brilliant. Me too. They look fantastic. And you did them real justice there as well. Well, to, to, to be honest, because sometimes, you know, like a homemade wallet or a homemade purse, sometimes they can be a bit flimsy, but you've got this, this Decaville, have I pronounced that right, Ali? This lining inside, uh, yeah. which gives it great rigidity. Exactly. That's exactly what it does. It's it's called a leather-like look, and it's got the leather-like look and feel, but it makes any fabric really um, secure and stable. Yeah, really stable. So you've got a lighter one, haven't you, for the inside pockets, and the main yeah. one for the body. Yeah, that's the secret of it. You need to have the two different ones, yeah. which is quite expensive to get hold of them both. Well, right. to get hold of any of them, really. Really? Um, so to get them both in the kit, with everything else that you need. It's a really lovely project to be doing while we're all stuck in this lockdown. Oh. How, I mean, you're a very accomplished sewer, as we know, Ali. I mean, because I love, you know I adore you. You know I love your instructions because you do all the full colour pictures. We're going through it step by step. You know, it really is, you know, so concise. You know, it's full instructions there, but not yeah. overwhelming. How long would you say a project, maybe for an accomplished person like yourself, would take? Well, I can tell you how long it would take me. Uh, and if everything is actually cut out, I would say about an hour. To wow. It's very simple. That's excluding the hand sewing. Take a little bit longer for that. Yeah. Which is only on the binding when it's finishing off. And is this, um, it, is this accessible for someone who's a starter like myself, you know? Yes. I think any any beginner could do this, and there is going to be a tutorial available for anybody to watch as many times as they like, so it will hold your hand. Is that on your Facebook, Ali? It's or... on Facebook, YouTube, and mm. I will see if Matt can put it on the Achanda one. And Brilliant. I'll We're just learning all this technology. And, uh, yes, it's not like me. Fantastic. So we've, we've really got uh, lots of instructions there. So that is, I mean, tell you what, that's such great value. Like you said, a nice project to get your teeth into. You're going to see results, whether you're a beginner or an accomplished sewer like yourself. Uh, this is a great project. 1499-941-224. Those three beautiful batik uh, colorways to choose from. Are you all right to go down the counter with me, Ali? Absolutely fine, yeah. Fantastic, because I'm, I'm keen to talk about your clutch purse, because this is the kind of size purse. I, I actually, you're, you're probably like me, Ali, and this is probably why you designed it. You know, you have a little purse for perhaps when you're just popping out, maybe walking down the park or whatever, but then you have a clutch purse for when you're doing your shop. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I, the, the clutch purse is actually, it's been on before, but it was in a smaller size. And uh, what I've done is I've made it just that little bit larger so that you can fit two lots of... Uh, credit cards or uh, shop cards in there. Yes, this is beautiful. So you've got all this room for credit cards, shop cards, membership cards. You've got this, which I love. It's almost like the concealed secret place. Maybe maybe it's where you put your ticket stub from the car parking or, 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 or notes. Then you've got this fantastic sized purse, because let's face it, we always get a load of change and you, and you need it to be firm and to be able to hold the change. And this, this faux leather, I mean, it gives it such a fantastic feel to the whole purse. It, it really feels like quality, Ali. It really does. That's the trick, Fiona. It's the Decoville that makes it like a leather wallet. It's beautiful. So this is the Peacock option. And we've also got this is exquisite as well. Look at that material. It's, ex it's beautiful, Ali. It's lovely. I absolutely love that fabric. So we get everything, don't we? We get. I'm just looking here. You've got your faux leather. You've got the lining of the fabric. Um, we've got the obviously the clasps, the the Decaville light and the heavy, and then the fusible interfacing. And then there's great instructions as well. If people haven't used the fusible interfacing before, they're going to absolutely fall in love with it. Oh. I don't use any other interfacing now. It's amazing stuff. And uh, do we use the iron to fuse it, or would you use spray? Iron. Just your iron, isn't it? It's just the heat, isn't it? 
Yes, and our, our sold iron is absolutely fine. Fantastic. That's what activates it, absolutely. Yes. Fifth, and what a great price, Ali. Oh, my goodness me, fifteen ninety nine. I know. We try to keep the prices low. We know what it's like for everyone at the moment, but we've not skimmed on the quality of the fabrics at all. That's, that's fantastic, Ali. We appreciate that because, again, it makes it so much more accessible. And, uh, you know, 15 99 and you've got, oh, I mean, that is just absolutely beautiful. 247017, the brand new uh, clutch wallet kit. You've got the poppies there or the peacock. Okay, Ali, you're all right to talk to me about your beautiful pick and mix fabric. Yes, certainly. No problem. So, we are getting a meter of each. I'm going to pick up the most vibrant here, and you can pick any three for an amazing £13.99. Basically, you're getting one free. Oh, um, that's a bargain. We're saving £7. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah, is great. This one's like £7. Wow. A whole, and it feels so beautiful and soft. It's lovely cotton, Ali. Yeah, 100% cotton poplin, so it's a little thinner than the quilting cotton. Yeah. It's perfect for making. I have made quilts with it, bag yeah. making. Just use the suitable um, wadding or interfacing, and you can make anything with it, pyjamas, um, wow, shirts, anything you'd like, really. <laughs> Fantastic. This one's the best part. I've just shown everybody the designs. This, I love that one. Oh, it's, it's so it's so bang on trend, isn't it? So retro. And then we've got the beautiful blue anchors. Gorgeous. Very pretty blue there. Uh, and then to sort of coincide with that, we've got the small white anchors. If you want to have a mix and match, you see, that's what's so great about it, isn't it, Ali? Yeah, there's three different uh, nautical themed ones. So you could mix and match those together. And basically, you know, but buy three, get paper two, so there That's you go. That's it. You see these three which you've got there, large white anchors, blue anchors, and then the small white anchors. I mean, that's match made in heaven, that one, Ali. It's perfect. You could use, make the little zipper pouches, have one on the outside, one on the inside, or even make them reversible. Beautiful. Then we've got our fantastic pink buttons, as you can I see. These. I love that. That's a yeah, sewer's dream, that beautiful. one, Ali. And we've also got it, and I love, because I like those polar opposite colours, and you've got the pink in there, of the green as well. Yep. Yeah, they look stunning together as well. That really pops, doesn't it? Yeah. And then, don't forget, you're picking and mixing three. So it'd be interesting to see which is, is the front runner, Ali, because you know there's always a few that go first, isn't there? Yeah, um, quite a few of my favourites in there, though. You know, the kitchens there are really popping for kitchens uh, and, uh, yes. you know, farm, farm steel um, goods. Great for aprons, your tea cosies, your placemats. Yep, perfect. Oh, we haven't got many of the chickens. They're proving popular, like you said, Ali. Yeah, then I we've got these beautiful owls. Gorgeous. I love those because they, they almost look like they're, they're, they're coloured in art. Yes, they do. Yeah, they're quite, uh, well, still very popular. Yes. We, we had a kestrel fly into my uh, phone room last week. That was an amazing thing to happen. Really? Yeah, oh. it flew straight into my sewing room and it stayed for about half an hour. On no. the oh my goodness, that's amazing. Yeah, I'll have to send some pictures in. Oh, do. I can't believe that. Just, and then just flew out again. It, well, no, we had to prompt it out of the window. Oh. Um, but it, it did fly away. It was like a young one, but it was full, oh. full grown. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, listen, while we're talking, the owls have got... I'm holding up the perfume bottle one, which I love because it's like coloured art again, um, the owls have gone limited. Oh, what? The owls have gone, I know, I know, this, we're not, we're not, we're not we're down the counter alley. The owls have gone limited. So, 13 99 that was perfume bottles. Uh, you pick any three, you're getting a metre of each, 823582. Absolutely. Ali, if I picked three metres of the same one, would you just leave it as three metres for me? It would be a continuous length, yes. Yes, definitely. thank you. Brilliant. I just, yeah, fantastic. Uh, that's, that's great. Thank you. 823582. Now, I'm going to move on to this fabulous, because now I've got to make the wallet to go with this bag, this beautiful, uh, is it the shopper, the shopper bag? Yeah. It is, yes. That's a perfect, sturdy bag oh. for all of your shopping needs. Lots it of is. Room, lots of pockets. So talk to me about this, because we've got a beautiful, lovely, deep pocket at the front which you've matched on the back there as well, Ali. Yes, and then and oh, sides. Got to have an inside. Oh, and the side, yes. This is, the, this is a winner, winner, isn't it? Chicken dinner, this is fantastic. Look at that, down the side there. And I've always liked an inside one there as well, Ali. And do you know what? There's no, not that I say they are, there's no frightening zips. Sometimes the zip frightens me, Ali. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know why, because they are quite easy to put in. I know. Not tutorials around, you know, to help you do that, because it is a bit more security. But it is nice to just have one that you can just clip something inside. I don't know why they do, because I've seen so many people do the zips, and uh, they're really old, but um, I just need to get over my no, phobia, don't I? <laughs> and I do, you've got some, I love this, this uh, the strong handles there, and you've just, you've done the kind of, you've just tapered them in there at the side, haven't you? Yes, yeah, they're very easy to put in, but they are um, secure as well, they're nice and comfortable, because yeah. you've got a lot of weight in there. Exactly. You want something that's quite secure. So all you do is you just fold it back on itself and stitch down the side, leaving yeah. the bottom bit open. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. That's a gorgeous bag. And we get everything we do in the kit to make that with the lovely instructions as well, Ali, yeah? Absolutely everything. And the perfect thing for that one, yeah. I enjoy doing the quilting. <gasps> so there's quite a big area for you to quilt. Oh, yes. And if it's not that good, you just cover it up with your pocket. Absolutely fantastic, yeah. You could really make something of that. You've done it in a lovely blue stitch, you know, to go with your lovely um, the peacock feathers there. But, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, like you said, make that as... as, as vibrant or as you know as discreet as you, as you desire beautiful 29.99 for the shopper kit brand new today five three six seven eight five and last but not least i'm intrigued by your caddy and your toolkit sally lovely yes i like these uh these are perfect for your um little irons like you know your little prim irons that like you sell yeah perfect for those so you just and we've got this 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 the the the, 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 the um, what do you call this? Because it's that, that reflective, isn't it? For the yes, take the heat. Yes, uh, insulated. Yes, the insulator. Yeah. So if you open it up fully, you'll see if you t undo the zip because it's um, what do you call it? Zip. It's uh, open oh, end zip. yes, sorry, darling. Yeah. So you open it fully and then it opens out. <sighs> pull the zip off the other end. That's it. Yeah. Fantastic. That opens up then, and then you've got a little ironing. That, if you want. I know I've left the middle open. I haven't fixed it up yet. Oh well, you see, that would be the last thing you do, but because that's uh, it's got it all. But you can see the the, the workings in, in inside, which is no bad thing. But we we'd hand stitch that last little bit, wouldn't we? And then we've got the mini version. Yeah, and the perfect for all your sewing notions and things like that. Fantastic. Look at that. Opens out again. So you, they're, they're really quite um, concealed. The amount of space they've got, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I've used these for lots and lots of different things. It's not just for your sewing notions and things. You can put makeup in, put your threads in. So once it's opened up, they're all there for you. Brilliant. Absolutely. And we've got the two colourways there. This pretty, the blue peacock and obviously the, the green peacock. And then obviously the zips and everything. Um, all, the, all the instructions again from your good self there, Ali. Loads of lovely full colour picture instructions there as well. Um, beautiful. So we, you can make those two kits there, uh, the iron caddy and the tool caddy kit. And that's for 22 706 746 Brilliant. All brand new today. Now we've got some fantastic videos from Ali herself. Thank you for sending those in, Ali. Um, are you working on some new projects, I dare say, because you're very industrious? I am working on new projects right as we speak. Do you ever rest, my darling? No. No, I don't. <laughs> I love it, Fiona. You do. And we love your projects. Listen, I just want to say a massive thank you uh, for joining us today. And uh, we'll get to watching those tutorials from you up next. Oh, thank you, Fiona. You stay Take safe care. and really lovely to talk to you. Can't wait to see you again in person. Okay, bye, Fiona. Take care, Ali. Bye-bye. You too. Bye. Right, yes. So we've seen the goodies that are on show. Don't forget, the owls were proving very popular, already getting limited. So uh, let's go straight to Ali now and get some instructions about how to make these fantastic kids. Hi, welcome to my studio where I spend most of my life. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, little wallet. I'm going to show you the start of it, and then in the future um, tutorials, I'll show you a bit more about it. Basically, this is, uh, it feels like leather, but it's actually a batik fabric. But when you actually open it up, you've got space for your um, notes. You've got card slots at both ends, and then you've got another magnetic clasp. That you could put coins in or something so it's a really useful wallet but the 
thing that makes it feel like leather it's actually the Decoville light and the Decoville heavy that we use inside so I'm going to show you how we start or how we go about starting to make this so I've got all my pieces cut out here and first of all we're going to do the main body so I have actually gone ahead and this is the Decoville light you can see it's quite um, soft to touch and this is the Decaville Heavy, which you can see just by looking at them, which one's which. So, first of all, I've interfaced this by pressing with the iron and that is firmly fused. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fabric and you can't really tell the front or back with batik. So if you get it wrong, it doesn't really matter. There is a slight variation in colour, but it's not a problem. So I'm going to position, sorry, starting off wrong, with laying one piece down and placing my other piece on top. And I'm just going to baste all the way around that to hold it in place. So I'll do quite a big stitch because it's not really um, constructed, it's just to hold it. all the way around making sure it's all nice and flat and that is the main outer of the purse sorted so we'll put that to one side for now. You would go around the other part of this in exactly the same way. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to make sure we've got um, enough time to do other things. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the card slots. So I've actually got mine marked on here and I've used the um, little pencil. It's a chalk pencil. On the back... I have got the woven interfacing on there. You can just see those marks that are on there. So first of all, it is a mountain fold. It does tell you all this in the instructions. So as you can see here, I'm going to fold that along that, cre uh, that line to form a crease. And that is a mountain fold because it's obviously going up like a mountain. So I'm just going to give that a quick press. And then the next one, I've got a mark here, so I'm going to fold that up and make sure it's all nice and straight. And that's going to be a valley because it's going down and across. So I'll just make sure that stays nice and firm. Uh, don't worry about this, the measurements are all in the instructions as well. So the next one is a mountain, you can see that crease there. I'm just going to fold along that line, line up the edges and give that oops, a quick press. I'm not left-handed so it's quite hard to do left-handed. Just give it a firm press all the way down and that then you can see is going to make your card slots. So we've got one at the top and then one there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stitch very close to the edge on the top of these two which will hold them in place in your wallet. So I'm going to put my stitch back down to a normal stitch. sure if you can pick that up but I've just got a row of stitches along the top there and that will hold it nicely in place so I'm going to do the same on the next one cut your thread tails off and now if I stitch around here 
that is going to hold all that in place so I can get it ready to go into my wallet. Don't forget you could do this in um, paler colours or not as bright colours and have it for a, a gentleman's wallet as well if you want to do something for the man in your life. So I'm just stitching around the edge to hold it all in place. And that is the two part one done. So I'm going to go ahead and do the next one. It's done exactly the same, it's just got three pockets. In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the little coin um, purse for the um, wallet. So we've got the bits interface, you can see I've been using up all my scraps. Don't waste any of this um, interfacing. So what we need to do is as well, we do need to put in the um, magnetic clasp. So I'm going to do that now and to do that I'm going to fold that in half and just crease it to make a guidance line. And then I'm going to get my one of the little washers that goes on there. And I'm just going to place that about an inch down. I'm just eyeballing it. About an inch down. And I'm going to just draw through those little marks. And then I know exactly where to cut. So I normally use a uh, thumb picker. But I must be confident because I haven't got one with me today. So I'm just going to use my scissors to just make a little slit through the top layer and through the interfacing. Could do with some better scissors. See if these are better. Yeah, there we go. So I've done the slits there. What I'm going to do before I put on my clasp that's just my phone vibrating in the background if you can hear it. I'm going to put a little blob of this glue and it's a fabric glue and then I'm going to put on the female part which is the thicker part. I'm going to push that through. The glue just helps a little bit more with security and I'm going to pop some glue on the back I'm going to put the metal washer on there and then I'm going to use some tweezers just to press those little wings down and that will hold all that in place. So when that glue dries it just gives it a little bit of added security. I always like to add that to my magnetic clasps. Right so that is the um, part done for the bottom. For the top part you can see I've got my uh, interfaced top there. I'm going to fold that in half because we need to round off the corners. So if you want to you can always um, draw around something but I'm just going to do it by eye because basically it's just a case of going about three quarters of an inch down from one side to about three quarters of an inch down on the other side. And when you take that off you've got that now it's nice rounded. Um, shape there. I've also just pressed in the middle to give me a guideline for the um, top of the magnetic clasp as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure again about an inch, maybe a little bit more because it's going on the top. It's all in the instructions and I'm going to put the marks through there as well. And I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to go through the top layer and through the interfacing with my scissors. Put a little bit more of the fabric glue. It stops it fraying as well. And this time we're going to put the male part, which is the thin part, through those little slits. Oops. it in from the back. There we go. Brute force will get it through. Looks like I haven't put the other one through properly so I'll just make sure that's a little bit bigger on the interfacing. There we go. Put that through. 
There we go. Add a little bit more of the fabric glue and then put the washer on the back and then again just put those wings down. And then we need to join the pieces together. You do this before so you can actually get in to see what you're doing. So now I'm going to just round off the other piece so it's exactly the same. And just trace the one that you did before. And then I'm going to stitch around the shape of that. I'm going to back tack at the start. Just follow it around that curve. And because we've got a curve on here, we need to cut out some of these little corn, uh, these into the corners to help it to turn. Just cut up to the stitch line, but not through. Just one more. And then turn that through to the right side and give it a quick press. So you can see now you've got your magnetic clasp on there and it looks lovely and neat. Just give that a quick press. If you want to top stitch you can do, but you don't have to. So I'm going to do the same with the bottom and then I'll come back to you in, to, in the last um, part of the video. Great instructions there about the Batik uh, wallet kit, which is what we've got here right now. And as Ali said, you know, she's put it at such a low price deliberately so that this is an accessible project, given the time that it is. And you can be making one of these beautiful uh, wallets. So great rigidity because of uh, the Decaville there in the, uh, the, 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 the thicker, if you like, and the finer one. So the finer ones to do the pockets and then the thicker to give it the structure there. So for any papers, cards, receipts, uh, pounds, notes and then you've got all the insets there for membership cards credit cards uh, handy purse there for small change and it all folds over beautifully with that extra long loops so that you know when it does get a little bit fuller the space in there because that's always I find the the annoying thing about wallets and purses and there's three different colorways you've got the beautiful pink flower the blue circle or what do we call this one of oh, the citrus flower, there we go, the citrus flower. And you're getting the Decaville, you're getting uh, the, the, the bias binding, you're getting the magnetic clasps, you're, you are getting everything that it says on here, the fusible interfacing, which again, you just eye in as Ali was explaining, which is fantastic and life-changing. And these fantastic, uh, brilliant color instructions as well to take you step, step by step. Now, if you're an accomplished sewer, with the exception of the bit of hand sewn at the end, probably about an hour, Ali said, but very, very accessible, even if you are a beginner like myself, which is what I love. 1499-941224. So three different colorways. I say beginner, I mean, rudimentary skills, should we just say. Uh, now, let's move on to the larger wallet. We've got two options here, the peacock and the poppy. Uh, beautiful. Now, this faux leather gives it this fantastic feel. It really does. You've got a large pouch element as well for, you know, more change in there and it's sturdy and, you know, it's so well made. You can just feel the quality of this. You've got your magnetic clasps there, a lovely inner lining pocket there for any receipts or important things that you need to keep in there, notes again, and then these beautiful inserts with the faux leather for your cards. Oh, turn it around there, Fiona, that's better. Uh, now, that is the peacock, as you can see but we've also got it in the beautiful, vibrant poppy as well. And like she said, that Decaville, which is, as Ali was explaining, just really quite expensive and hard to get. So it's like, a, again, it's almost like a faux leather in itself, but it really gives that strong um, firmness to the wallet, which is why they feel like such great quality. Clasps, zips, everything in there. You choose which option you want, the peacock or the poppy, 1599-247017 and brand new today. Now, while we were talking, some of the pick and mix materials sold out. Yes. And I was only left 
a minute ago with buttons, which I like. The buttons are beautiful. So this is a pick and mix. You pick any three for a meter. Now, been on the phone. So we've got a few more here for you. You've got the green and the bright fuchsia pink in the actual um, the buttons, as they're called. You can see these little buttons. Well, it literally is. Let's open that up for you because it's so pretty. Loads of sort of um, sewing motifs there. I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. So you've got the pink or the green in the buttons. Love that. And then um, we have got some more of the perfume perfume bottles here we go now it's poly cotton so uh, great for all sorts of uh, dress making work uh, project work I said she used it with a quilting so those are those beautiful ornate perfume bottles I love those uh, chickens was one of her favorites this flew out sorry that was an intentional pun that was not intentional. Well, it's amazing a story about the, the owl was it the owl the birdie um, there we go that flew in. I know to say hello. Fantastic. Uh, and then we've also got the owls again. Beautiful. These were getting limited, so we must have got a few more back in there, which is great. You're getting a meter of each, and she'll cut it to three meters if you want three of the same. Thirteen ninety nine. But first come, first served, because I know some of those went earlier while we were talking. Uh, and then we've got. We can still get a little bit more of the large anchor because the blue anchor and the small white anchor is gone. So that's the large in the, uh, the white anchor there. $13.99, yeah, you're literally getting one free. A metre of each, beautiful quality. You're getting three metres for $13.99. So make sure to pick your three favourites or three metres of the one you love sooner rather than later because a few have already gone and we've got a couple back in. $13.99, Now. The fantastic um, shopper, yeah, this is great because it's a good size. It's when you're going down, you, you ever done that sort of shop where you say, I'm just going for some milk and then you come out with about seven items and you really wish you got that basket. You, you, you're there, you're juggling it because you suddenly think, oh, cat food. We can't do that now because you've all got to go in the, in the one direction, haven't you? I mean, nobody goes like that, do they really? <laughs> Far from me. So we need our shopper. And this is fantastic. You've got the, you've got a pocket down there. You've got extra pocket down. Do you know this would this would be a great um, knitting bag as well, wouldn't it? Not that it's got to be a shopper for your needles. Well, I have got some yarn in here. Look at that. Doesn't come with your big ball of wool, but anyway, just thought you've got your inside pocket in there as well. And again, on the back, the pocket there, and you have got a lovely opportunity to do some really free motion quilting on there as well because you get the padded. Uh, padding in there as well. Oh, that feels lovely. That is, and all that lovely green and uh, cotton to go with that for the for the lining and the edging. Beautiful. So that is a good size shopper, a sturdy shopper. Uh, feels lovely. That's you know my problem when you go shopping as well. Is you always forget to bring the bags. You won't forget to bring this because it's lovely and stylish. Pop pop it there. You've got your bag in there. Put some. If you could put your little bags inside, couldn't you? And then have your wallet inside. One of those lovely wallets. Make your lovely. Peacock wallet to go with it. Look at you. Look at the style, eh? Make your peacock wallet to go with it. Matching. Absolutely. Look at this. There we go. Beautiful. Ready to go. Fantastic. Anyway, uh, 29 99 536 Now, the tool and the candy kit, which uh, Ali explains she uses an awful lot because this is perfect. It's your prim irons. Obviously, other irons are available. Uh, maybe you've got your little scissors, um, your, your, your sew picker, your some extra needles so we've got two options on the blue or the peacock in the green so you've got the zip which opens all the way out so we're not having to close it up or anything like that and that's deliberate so that when you open it there we go yeah all that space and it's almost got its little iron mat inside because what you've got is this uh, you've got the fusible interface but you've also got the insulated wadding which is here with that heat reflector on it as, as well. So uh, some extra small piece of wadding in there. Uh, your zips. Yeah, you get a lot in there. So that's 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 fantastic. And um, well, you don't have to use it for that. You might use it as, as sort of a toiletries, toilet bags or uh, makeup or yeah, because you also get the little one as well, which is a matching one. If we make both of these, you see, and again, opens up pretty much the same way. And you can keep all, and what's nice about it, you know, when you, when you normally when you open up little pouches that's it that's the extent to which it goes and you do you always do this rummage rummage that's what i'm like in the makeup bag in the dressing room rummaging where is that lip liner where is that lip liner whereas if you do this oh yes now i'll hang on hang on I can see the wood for the trees now 
Hey, yep, yeah, there it is. There's the pencil sharpener. That's what's brilliant about it. You can lay it all out, see it all. You can see the colour lipstick you want. Genius. Absolute genius. I know I'm there they are tool kiddies, caddies and what have you, but I'm just thinking perfect for makeup and stuff like that. Because you can never find it in the bottom of the bag, can you? You can never find it in the bottom of the bag. This is brilliant. Beautifully put together as well. Great project to make both of those in the blue or in the fantastic green. 22.99, 706, uh, shall we have a look at some more savings? Uh, a rotary cutter, yeah. These are brilliant for cutting your material, obviously, because it comes with the cutting mat as well. Now, this will go back to its original price on Sunday. So for $14.99, you are getting the rotary cutter, the spare blade, and the self-healing cutting mat. You're saving £10, so that's well worth a shifty. $14.99. Let's show you another uh, saver. This is your Craft Yourself Silly Toy Safety Eyes and noses 96 in total well you might be making the the rag dolls the teddies um who knows you just might need, need some eyes and a nose is all i'm saying nine pounds 98 nine two three nine five three and then we've got some woodland wet leather swatches that wasn't easy for me to say that one assorted colors 12 pieces in those autumnal colors huge savings 100 percent leather that's the difference you see uh 16.99 16276 that would make a great um sort of you know like those patchwork bags and the leather those colors really go don't they big saving there 16.99 anyway uh those that beautiful batik wallet we've only got halfway through the demonstration so we need to see the second part with the lovely alley and it's coming up next Hi, welcome back to the last part of the tutorial. So in the last one we did the flap and the little pouch. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to top stitch, in fact no I'm not, first of all I'm going to do the, it's like a, a extendable uh, little pouch. So what I need to do is place the flap onto the front part there and I'm just going to draw a mark at the side of the, where the top is. And then I'm going to take that off and I'm going to fold it back onto that line there and I'm just going to top stitch down that seam to just hold that in place. I'm going to do it as close to the edge as I can. Back stitch at the top. and then do it the same on the other side so again where that little mark is fold it making sure it's straight you could press it if you wanted to and then just give it a top stitch back tack again at the top and then what we're going to do is we're going to fold that in half, what's left, and give it a press. You can pin it if you want. So I'm just going to put a pin in there to just hold that. Do the same on the other side. So where you've got that seam there, fold that in half so the edges meet and pop another pin in. Or if you've got the clips to hand, put a clip in. And now we're ready for assembling all those pieces together. So we've got our card slots here and that is the outer. I forgot to mention in the first one you need to put the um, one of the parts of the clasp in the middle. That's all in the instructions, don't worry. So that's the main one and then this is the internal part of the slot, uh, sorry, the wallet. So on here we're going to divide it into two first of all, so find the halfway mark and that is what's going to hold the wallet sorry the po pocket so put that at the halfway point there and again I'm just going to put a little pin at the base quite an easy project this one 
and then we've got the three card slot which we're going to put at this end and it just fits on there perfectly and then the tool part is going to go on this side and the little pouch is going to go on the top so now we need to stitch all those in place so for speed I'm just going to do the two ends because I want you to see how we finish it off you would go all the way around do the opposite one so that's the card slots in place and then onto the little pouch so take one of the pins out take the bottom one out hold it in place and you're just going to stitch fold that one back and then we're going to stitch on the edge there to the top and make sure you, you top stitch and bar tack a couple of times to give it added security backwards and forwards a couple of times same at the other side so take the pin out move that top piece out of the way and I'll move that in position back tack and then stitch that in place so now we're going to fold that down and we're going to stitch across the top on there And now we're going to put the little flap on the top so connect the magnets in there and then stitch across the top your um, strap we're going to fold it in half and we're going to put in there the little clasp but just for speed I'm just going to fold it in half and we're going to put that on the part with the tool. Just put it in the centre. I'm going over this a couple of times because obviously that's going to take all of the um, all of the wallet, welly, whatever you want to call it when you opening and closing your wallet right so now we've got all that done all we need to do is bind this top edge the easiest way I found to do this is to fold and press your binding in half and we're going to put that you would have sewn all this down onto both sides here and just give it a clip all the way and stitch all the way to that end and then your wallet is almost finished. It's a case of popping that on the inside there. We're going to curl, sorry, clip the corners to a curve and then it all folds in and over again and your strap goes over. And that is how we finish off the wallet. So it's a very simple project to do. Yes, and an amazing price point too. And here is that beautiful Batik Citrus Flower project that uh, Ali was just showing us. Uh, short of just putting on the actual um, the, the binding there, the pink binding, which she provides for you as well. Uh, you've got the magnetic clasps, you've got the Decafil uh, lining as well. So you get that lovely rigidity and it keeps that shape. Beautiful project to do. If you're a clumpish, Ali thought mm, probably about an hour to do with the exception of the little bit of hand sewn at the end. And if not, perfectly accessible if you are a new starter. So that is the citrus flower option, that beautiful material there in the batik. So you can see that um, you get those lovely faded uh, mauves and pinks in there as well. Let me open that out a little bit more so you can see. There we go. Isn't that pretty? So I suppose you could cut it on your, your you know, on your, on your favourite bits or use an element that really appeals to you for the main bit of the wallet and the strips. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? So that is the, the citrus flower option. That actually is, is proving the most popular at the moment, but they're all beautiful, it has to be said. Um, 
like I said, you do get the pink binding, you do get the magnetic clasps, you do get the decafil, and you do get the fusible web as well, interfacing, I should say. So here's the instructions. So lovely colour instructions, nice and simple. Uh, giving you all the measurements as well. Uh, then, she, you know, like, like in the first instruction, you know, if you missed the, 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 the video, uh, watch it back on Rewind in terms of she fuses the web to the material. And then I love the fact that we've got full colour pictures. And it's not reams and reams and reams to overwhelm you. That's it. Three sides of A4. Not quite. Most of that, as you can see, is taken up with pictures. So, and don't forget, there's full instructions as well on her website, on the, on the, on the YouTube, um, you know, how Instagram, how to, how to put it all together as well. So you're not alone. Then our second option is our circles. So if I hold that out, you can see the material a bit better now. Beautiful material, isn't it? So, so pretty. So that's our second option in the boutique. And last but not least, we have the pretty pink flowers. Isn't that lovely? Our pink flowers. Brand new kit, $14.99, And as Ali said, you know, that Decaville, really hard to get hold of. It can be quite expensive as well because it's almost like a faux leather, but uh, it's all cut and measured for you there because you've got the, the thicker one and the finer one there as well. So you can do both elements of the, the structure of the wallet itself. Yeah, and the fusible web, love it. Fantastic, great little bundle there. 941224, three options. Accessible, doable, and uh, yeah, achievable in the time that we've got. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? So the larger wallet now, yeah. And we've got two colorway options here. Now what you are getting, you are getting the fantastic material itself, as you can see, yeah. You are getting your faux leather as well. You are getting the magnetic clasps, of course. There we go. You are getting, again, the Decaville in the light and in the heavy. And then you are getting the fusible interfacing as well in the kit. And, of course, your zip. Now, let me just show you this first because you've got your peacock option or you've got your poppy option there. I'll hold that out for you. You can see that a bit better. Very, very pretty indeed. And the faux leather and that Decaville really gives it this fantastic, smart, professional finish. Yeah, it, it feels exactly like the kind of wallet you'd buy. And sometimes I know when you get a homemade purse or kit like that, and sometimes it can be a bit flimsy, can't it? And that's always something that I don't want to say puts me off, but I'm not so keen on, should I say, in terms of choice, personal choice. But this, on the other hand, feels exactly, you know, like the wallets you buy. And uh, quite frankly, you don't get them for as, as low as $15.99. And look at the, the lovely professional finish, you know, for the cards there, the slim wallet element there, you know, when you want to put your parking receipt and don't need, you don't want to lose it because you need it for the end of the night when we do eventually get to go somewhere. Uh, and then obviously large purse area, but that lovely faux leather finish and the elements with which Ali has put together that wallet really gives it that classy feel and a, and a lovely, lovely professional finish. So great accessibility in terms of that price point as well. I'm sure you agree. 15 247017. Now, I'm sorry to say the pick and mix, which was such a hit, has all gone. Yeah, so well done to you if you were quick enough to act on those. It really was a bargain. But I'm going to take my wallet with me because it would look rather smart with me big shopper, wouldn't it? Yeah. Aye, aye. Yes, this is lovely. You know, actually, do you know what? This would make a lovely beach bag as well, I think. Just given the size of it, when we're all able to go somewhere, we can have our beach holiday in the garden, can't we? With my towel. Because it's lovely and deep. And it's got these great pockets. I do love pockets in a beach bag. Because you need to put, you want to keep your cream away for sandy bits. Um, I thought as well it might, make, it might make a really good knitting yarn bag or whatever home project because you've got this lovely deep pocket it's got this quilted element to it you get the padding in there so you can do your free motion quilting Ali's done it on a lovely light bright blue stitch there but you can be discreet about it or emblazing it with a bright red got lovely side pockets there as well and again because of the quilting and the padded element it feels so well made and sturdy and then you've got the pocket on the reverse as well so you've got a lovely mirror image there four sturdy straps yeah, I'm ready to go, and I've got a bit of a zip phobia, haven't I? But there's no zip for me to worry about here. I need to get over that. 
Ali needs to sort me out. Uh, here we go. I'm off. Here we go. Style. Do you reckon? Hey? Hey? Yeah? What do you reckon? It's lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. So for whatever project you're using, lovely sturdy shopper there. I love the peacock feathers anyway. Bright and fun and ah, oh, just cheers the soul. Cheers the soul, that one. 29 Yeah. It's nice to have a stylish shopper because we will go around with those plastic bags enough and then you always forget them. So you could have to some store. They're not good for the environment. So this one, I'm, I'm washable as well. So we can just store some extra bags in the side there, but have our main one for our purse. All right, let's move on to our iron and tool caddy, which I think would be a great makeup bag, a toilet bag, because of the way it opens out and you can see exactly what's in the bottom. But it does have um, the, the fusible um, and the actual lining, the reflective lining there as well, um, so that you can actually, it's like a heat pad, as it were, yeah? The, uh, the insulating wadding, that's the word I'm looking for, the insulated wadding. So you're getting that, you're getting the zips, you're getting the lovely materials there to match, whether you want the turquoise and the peacock or the blue in the peacock. And it makes two of the caddies, and what I love about them, and this is why I was rattling on about makeup earlier, but this is perhaps for your prim iron and your irons and what have you, is it opens out completely. I like that. There we go. So it's almost like a little iron mat there. Um, you just finish that last little bit with a bit of hand sewing and it fits in there. But also if you've got lots of gibbons, your makeup brushes, your toilet paper, when you're, when you're doing what I'm doing, you're, you're, that's, the, that's the opening you get, isn't it? And you're rooting around and you can bet your bottom dollar, those tweezers, whatever you want, they're right at the bottom. Whereas here, aha, I can see everything I need, yeah. And it also comes together to make a mini version as well. So if we're thinking that one for our iron or toiletries or make whatever, um, this is the mini one as well. It's always good to have a mini one. There we go. Yeah. Could be, could be a pencil case in your bigger one, yeah. I mean, this this was just thinking scissors and uh, maybe needles or anything else, the accessories with your sewing. But, I mean, let's face it, we're not just saying this is for, for, for your sewing and your fabrics. I mean... Sometimes we have a little sewing kit in there. Little little medical kit, yeah, safety kit. Don't know when you go away, a few plasters, a bit of germaline. Some wet wipes, little overnight bag, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to take the big one, you want to take the mini one. Beautiful. So two choices there, and again, great instructions there from Ali. All brand new projects today. And uh, yeah, lots of um, instructions and follow through videos as well on all of her uh, media sites there as well, which come with instructions, so you can access those really easily. 22.99, Do watch back on the uh, Rewind if you want to see the, the beautiful boutique wallets being made. And do look on Ali's uh, media sites there if you want some instruction on how to go about creating those other projects we've had on the show today. Now, I don't want you to go anywhere because it is that time. Yeah, we're going to launch a one-day special. Uh, Leonie's waiting in the wings. I shall be standing afar. Um, but uh, later on as well, we'll be joining Mike and Shona for a bit of encaustic art. Oh, but plenty more still to see this evening. Well, welcome back to all of our lovely viewers from the US of A. It is great to have your company again. Sadly, we weren't able to ship out to you because, of course, there is the coronavirus situation at the moment. Now, really great news. We're managing now to be able to ship back out to you again. However, it is working out to be quite costly because of things changing for us. And the price now is actually $12.95 per item. But... Do not despair because there's a great way around this. If you become a part of our Freedom Members Club, which is $19.99, that is the one payment that you pay for the month. And what that gives you is your packaging and your posting, your shipping basically on the items that you buy. So instead of buying one item for $12.95, use that $19.99 and get your items sent to you. It's the best way to shop. But it's great to have you back. We're so glad that we're able to ship to you over there in the US of A. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved 
They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Atranda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me, they're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Addicts. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got Scenic, we've got Cute and Furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict Shows on Hojanda. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hello, very good evening to you. Yeah, you join myself and Leone and All and Create for the one day special. Now we have a fantastic launch at uh, six o'clock and half the stock has gone of the one day special. Yes, indeed. So uh, just to give you the heads up, if you love this, which I know you're going to, then make sure to pop it in your basket and don't forget to check out. So what are you getting? You are getting two of the A4 stencils and a floral wings stamp set. So let me show you these because they are really rather special and absolutely spectacular. So have a little look at this, that beautiful butterfly wing and that flourish of fauna there absolutely stunning the intricacy the detail there it really is beautiful and don't forget everything will be dispatched on the 18th of May so that's one of your stencils and then if I just turn this around there is the other and you can just use those component parts elements of so detailed they really are uh, so innovative aren't they all and create we love 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 the design team so they are the two amazing stencils maybe for your art journals uh, maybe for your mixed media but hey ho just take a look at this set of stamps oh my word we've got a butterfly with that oh the detail the amount of time it must have gone into the design is exquisite 
and then I love the fact that you've got the body of the butterfly separate so you can manipulate that half on and you've got this you've got this imagery uh, the bridge the stony bridge the river you've got that tree and then you've got this kind of um, grid like bulb electric sort of map there I just I just think it's amazing it's almost like a grid of a map and a bit of scribing in the background there so that is all part of your one day special 39 pounds 97 saving you seven pounds and I've got to show you some of the uh, fantastic ah oh, look at that you see this is what Leone was doing earlier isn't that beautiful yeah so we've got that on two flexi by payments of 1999 now also new we have got the stencils again all in create they are the forerunners they are the innovators they are the ones with the ideas that everybody else copies quite frankly because these are just stunning I mean look at this two amazing stencils just cool and really sizable that's just it it's, they're a good size aren't they so you've got to use the whole thing you can just use an element of the, you know going off the edge of the page there i love that because i think it could be a space it could be uh well it could be planets it could be yeah well jimmy sees something else weird crop circles <laughs> i don't see crop circles but that's that's my director um yeah i don't know stars i, I just think it's brilliant reminds me of something, like, something out the hubble te telescope that one and this yeah if you were doing your coloring isn't that beautiful you see i see little ladybugs coming out of the uh out the grasses there that's just me uh that's just beautiful so we've got these two for 14.98 enchanted garden and sundew 850871 but if you want the entire bundle which is what's been so popular tonight and i don't blame you because how could you separate the magic you can carry those savings over from the first bundle and you get the freedom discount on having the whole bundle which takes it down to a mere 49.46 and that is also available on flexi as well two flexi buy payments of 24 pounds and 73 now a third of the entire stock has gone so i just want to show you some of the ones that um, leone was working on you see look at that stamp Look at that stamp. Isn't that the Billy Goat's Gruff for wanting to be trot across that bridge there? I love it. And then this is the one. Oh, in Leone's words, boom. She wasn't sure about the gold leaf, but look at the magic and look at the acetate. Isn't that amazing? We love, love, love that. And see that, you know, sometimes you can just keep it simple. Quick card. Look at that. The stencil in the background and then that beautiful stamp in that denim blue. Isn't that stunning? And then again, using those stencils here. And I've got to apologize to Corrie. Well, I think we credited those lovely stills of those images to abs. Uh, they were Corrie's. Well, we'll have a look at those again, because look at those. And this is using some of the other stamps, actually, we've got on the show from All in Create as well. But that's using those stencils in all of this collection there. You can see that lovely planetary one. Ah, now this is coloring in elements of the butterfly st uh, stamp this is Corrie's yeah just to reiterate how beautiful is that just coloring in stamping in your blank black ink and then color in I mean it is magnificent and look at that that tree that bridge that sort of almost that's, that's almost like the, 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 the weathered element of the butterfly wing there just crackling ah, and the electricity the heat from those bulbs Oh, it's just joy and then that matte grid in the background i just love it i think it's absolutely fantastic so uh yeah brand new today and proving very very popular thank you to corrie for those beautiful now in that card i just showed you we saw these fantastic clocks because we've seen the stats before but not in this configuration so uh let's just have a quick reminder because these are a sizable stamp so this is the clock face stamp yeah this is a great stamp um You've got the grid work, you've got the cogs. You, it's almost like uh, on a design sheet, someone's sitting down at the board there. The blueprint, yeah, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. Brilliant, love, love, love that stamp. So that's one set. Then you move on and it's almost like, um, again, a mixture of grids and splashes and feathers and paint drops and, you know, they're random, but the cohesiveness of the way in which it works together is not random. And that's what's so brilliant about the designers there at All and Create, isn't it? Because random would just look like an odd mishmash, but gosh, it all just works together so beautifully. And then we get the, um, the paint splashes and the rings, almost like the rings on a table when you... Ooh, who left that coffee cup there, eh? And the stars and again, the script work and the underlining just so many layers isn't it it's, it's just wonderful not that you've got to use it all in one long stamp you can just use elements of and then last but not least you've got those fantastic butterflies in the bumble which go beautifully 
oh, I never get that right, which there we go, uh, which I think ties in fantastically with the Wonder Days special. He's a lovely big chunky bumble, isn't he? We keep getting giant bumbles flying in and then I have to sort of gently coax them out with me feather duster. It's not really a feather duster, it's kind of like a fluffy duster thing, but you don't want to harm them and you're trying to kind of coax out these giant bumbles. They're like big blunderbusses, aren't they, when they come in? Beautiful. That's, I love that stamp. It's got so much texture to it. Anyway, you get all four of those for £45.96, Beautiful. And last but not least, we've got the stencils and stamp sets. I'm very keen to uh, go over to Leone. Uh, and this is a dynamic duo. Great little duo here. Because again, all the texture, all the elements there. And we've got the stamp to coordinate with that stencil. So that's a win-win. The Lacy Graffiti. And I don't know how you pronounce it, Rota Vitae, I suppose. £14.98. And again, what, what do you call that? The, the Zen, um, Zen Tangle. Yeah, you could colour that in. I just keep forgetting what I'm trying to say. A bit like the knobbly bits on the website. I couldn't quite get the, uh, the, quite get the name out of the stamp because it just disappeared from view and all I got was knobbly. Uh, there's lots of extra stamps and stencils on the website. So do have a look. You can shop by... Um, Thank you, Brand. Uh, uh, is the knobbly bit there? Please tell me the knobbly one is there. Uh, I think uh, I'll leave it over to Leone to find it there. It's definitely there. You'll be able to put me out of my misery. But I'm going to hand straight over to Leone now, who's got some fantastic demonstrations. Fabulous. Uh, did you find the knobbly bit? Where is it? Ring of Changes is Yay! the knobbly bit, Fiona. <laughs> boop, boop. Ring of Changes and knobbly bits. Um, there are so many gorgeous stamps. All and Cray, if you haven't collected these yet, now is the time to collect because they're amazing. They're gorgeous. You can do so much with them. Okay, what am I doing? Kind of forgot. I had kind of a plan, but kind of forgot. I, I've remembered, sort of. Yeah, I'm terrible, aren't I? It's like, did I have a plan? I had a plan. Okay, so I'm using one of them stencils. I'm actually going to use it in my art journal. Obviously, you can use it anywhere. You know, it's completely up to you. I'm hoping it's clean. It is relatively clean. I know that makes a change for me, but now I'm being very naughty and using my... Um, tape so this is your uh thingy tape thingy tape washi tape i'm being naughty because i'm actually using it as a low tight tape but i'll still be able to use it afterwards i must admit when i were doing a uh, plane at home i've got strips of this now on my dining room table so you will be able to use it after i'm trying to sort of stick it down a little bit but don't worry. Now, I'll tell you what I were going to do, and I forgot if the truth be known. I were going to find my... I've got my um, little tack adhesive spray that I had on the other day when I were doing the... Um the the Pinty Show and it's a really good low tack spray adhesive. I was going to get that and then utterly forgot. I've literally only just remembered now. Uh, but I would normally use that for this technique because I want that. I don't really want any gaps on it, but um, we'll do what we will have to do. Now I'm going to use this time like in the earlier show. I've had a bit of a run on using. Um, using my little uh, powders, haven't I, my pigment powders. You know how it is, you get your little obsessions, don't you? And at the minute, pigment powders, that's the one. So it is definitely not as flat as I want it to be, so it might not work as I want it to, but we're gonna try it anyway. So all I want to do, first of all, and it doesn't matter, because I'm layering up on it. I don't even know why I'm bother worrying, because I'm gonna be layering completely over the top of this. The one I did, you can't even see what's underneath it anyway. So why I'm worrying, but we do, don't we? You know, it's like, oh, oh what are we like? Okay, so. <laughs> Um, oh, boom. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so, <laughs> I'm actually right on the overhead. I haven't stuck my head in yet. This never happens. You shouldn't have pointed out, Jimmy. We're doomed now. So, get me water spritzer ready. Get me rice paper ready. Ready. Go. So, let's spritz. Now, I'm trying not to absolutely saturate it, which I normally do. If I not, if I absolutely saturate it, it'll run under the stencil. And as I haven't got um, it glued down completely, then it does mean if it runs under the stencil, you know, you don't get the, the beautiful print. I'm going to put the second print. Obviously, I'm going to pick up some of that with the other side of this paper, which means I will get a second print. Boom. 
which looks good. The excess, of course, I'm going to pick up with my rice paper. As ever, the rice paper, it's brilliant because you're not going to uh, waste the colours. So it's not like picking up with a bit of tissue and wasting that. You absolutely won't. In fact, I tell you what, if you watch, did, it, did you watch? Did you watch the launch? I'm chatting to you now. But I know some people do answer me because we we had, I do believe it was Jeanette emailed in a little while ago saying she answers me when I ask questions. So I don't feel as daft knowing that people are out there answering. So if you watch the first hour and I did, um, oh, I've lost my train of thought. Oh, and I did the um, the thing with the acetate. If you've, you, if you've got rice paper or, or just something like this, if you do acetate and put that under the acetate, you, that is a really nice way of using it. So, um, on the adhesive. So, use your rice paper and stuff like that. So, that's my first background. Love that. That is one of the stencils that you're getting. As I say, I will be able to use that tape. So, I'm not going to waste that. Obvious. Oh, maybe that bit I'll waste because it's gone all yucky. But, um, some of that tape I'll definitely be able to use. And I like that because I like the, hello. I think it's marvellous. I do like my washi tape. I've got a lot of washi tape now. Okay, happy with that. I think it's marvellous. Um, next layer. Now, I've got the straight lines, which I quite like. I thought that looked quite cool. But you can, if you want to, if you want to just sort of pull out some of the lines. Do you know what I mean? You can actually play with it a bit. So you can play with the sort of the 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 sort of it coming out of the page which I always like so just kind of extending that one there and then where else shall we extend it let's extend it there as well so this and I'm literally just dragging the the pigments and because all I need to do is add water to it and you'll be able to drag those pigments and I quite like that it coming out I feel that something else needs to come out on the top Let's have a little look, see. So, I, I, all, oh, there you go. So, you do that, that's where, and that's exactly where you put your arm in. Um, obviously, obviously. So, what I'll do with this one is just drag one of these up here like this. So, I'm following the stencil line, but changing it. So, following the stencil, so it, it's coming out of the page. And I, I love things like that because it changes the look of it compl completely, but it makes it, it's quite visually interesting, isn't it? Right, now, next, we absolutely change this because, just bear with me, I'm doing that thing where I'm turning back on you again um, and just finding my paints, bear with you. Talk amongst yourselves, everyone. What did you have for your tea? I had soup. I made myself some carrot soup the other day. I made two lots of carrot soup and two lots of cauliflower soup. Yep, I know, right? You know what them days where you actually nail it and it's like, I've made soup for four days. Nailed it. I'm nail nailing this this life at the moment. You shouldn't speak too soon, should you? Because now where have I put me? Oh, right next to me. <laughs> um, okay, so what we're going to do next is, um, and I'm using really bright pink. Now, the paint I'm using, I adore this stuff. Um, this is the liquid acrylic. This is my Finnabar um, acrylics. I absolutely adore these. So all I'm doing is layering. So I've taken my first layer. I'm then going to take that other stencil because it's fab and it's cool. So taking that stencil and we're popping that in there. Taking the paint and just going to decant a little bit of the paint. I don't need much because it's such a strong, gorgeous paint. Um, it is busy, even at this time of the evening, it is busy. Again, you know what to do. If you want it, just go for it. Just check your baskets out. Okay, so taking my stencil brush. Now, this stencil brush, I chopped it down so it's not very straight, to be fair. I didn't wash it properly, so I kind of ruined my stencil brush, so I just chopped the end off where I'd ruined it. Okay, and let's get that amazing bright colour in there. So I'm just going in covering this up like so and this stencil brush isn't very good for this actually it's too um it's too hard now have i got i might put it on with a sponge instead because i can't find a decent stencil brush so bear with me folks i'm gonna get one of my sponges okay that'll have to do because me my, my stent i can't be bothered rummaging for me um my brushes 
Okay, so let's sponge it on. This will be nice and quick anyway. Now, I like this because on the, the bits that are whiter, you're going to get that beautiful pink. On the bits that you've got the colour, you're obviously seeing under it. So you see under the paint, then you'll see some of the gorgeous, gorgeous colours coming through. Now, the one I did before, I could cut it down because obviously I did it on a piece of paper. This one I can't cut down because I'm working on my art journal, but that's absolutely fine. So, just squidging it on like this. And I'm not doing a full pa palette, so I'm not doing the whole thing because I want some variant on the colour. There we go. So just use all my paint up and then so happy with that. I might move that aside. I love this stencil. I love it because it's really funky. You know, it's really just cool, isn't it, quite frankly. Now, I'm going to take my white gesso. So let's use the white gesso. And again, I'm being lazy and using my sponge just for speed. Like so. And you'll see now, obviously, as you put your white gesso in, you can go over everything. So all that, you know, that I was faffing about, covered it up completely. I love this because this, you know, when you do layers, it's taken me years to be able, even now I still don't do layers, really serious layers. You know, you watch some artists and my word, they'll take something, they'll do this really cool background and then utterly, completely cover it up. I'm still not that brave, but for me, this is pretty brave. But it's funny because you do still faff with that bottom layer, well I do, and then think, don't matter love, you, you're you going to cover it up. When I've been teaching classes and we've done things like this, you know, you, you say don't worry too much because you're literally going to be covering it all up. There we go. Now can you see that colour? That colour has gone green because I'm picking up the colour underneath. So um, because I've used pigments and you're still introducing a wet like a wet product over the top, you'll pick up those colours. So if you don't want to pick up the colours, then um, just keep cleaning your sponge or your brush, whatever it is you're using. Okay, let me have a little look, see if I'm happy with this. There we go. And of course, once this is dry, I mean, if you leave your, uh, leave your pigments, once it's dry, you can go back over the top. I like it because at the minute, I'll be dead honest with you, at the minute I look at that and go, oh, I'm not, it's not too keen on that. But this is a lovely thing about it, isn't it? You know, it, you just play. You just have a little go and just keep working on it until you're happy with it. And if you're not happy with it, you can always go over just with white gesso and then get rid of everything. Okay, let's have a little look, see how this looks when we take that off, shall we? Ready? I have no idea what it'll look like. Boom. Ooh, I like that. Yep, I'm well happy with that. So you've got all those fabulous, fabulous colours. Okay, now, this is interesting because you've got a bit here and a bit here. Now, because of the way it's, um, because of the way I've actually designed this, it means now I want to create some kind of um, visual block. So if I take my black gesso, like this and I'm going to come down the black gesso so I'm literally going to bring my gesso and that will become sort of almost blocking it in so where it was um where my paint I got a bit carried away with my paint this will block it and it's almost like you know when we do our lines on, um, to create our frames with our drawing pen. Same kind of thing, but I'm using my black gesso. And your black gesso, don't, you know, just, just go for it. Don't worry about it being perfect by any means, because a black gesso can look really striking. So I'm having that, and then I'll just do a little bit here. Like so. And it's so interesting how it changes the look of the page because you're deciding where the page ends. You're deciding what you know, what's part of that main frame. So drawing, where you're drawing the eye in. And I quite like that. I do get a bit carried away though. I did this when I was playing at home. Hence why um, I didn't get that much done playing about with that. Okay, so that's my first layer. Now, second layers. What I thought was, I was going to bring the butterfly into this, but I thought, you know what, I'm not sure. I'd cut out that butterfly, but I thought, 
it's quite a heavy background and I really love this image. So I've decided not to use that one. I did cut out that butterfly with it, which again, I absolutely adore, but I'm not going to use the butterflies. What I'm going to use instead are um, the beautiful. Now, these are from, you know, the extra stamps that we've got on the show. So we've got the wonderful clocks. So you've got the two clocks there. You've then got the, the circles. And these are just so cool. Because, again, you can do so much with these. I did cut out more than that. And do you know what? I have lost my cutting out. Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> it's there on the page. I was just going to get really angry at myself then because I spent ages cutting out. And I'm not, you know, cutting out sometimes. You just feel not, you know, feels like you're wasting quite a lot of your life. Um, so... That's my cutty out bits. Now I'm going to bring in my washi tape. So you look at my cutty out bits while I go and rummage yet again, this time for washi tape. I won't tell you what I have for my tea. We've already done tea talk. <laughs> done tea, tea talk. Tomorrow, I think it'll be cauliflower soup. <laughs> and so I don't forget to bring it into work. I've even put it in freezer at work. Boom. So good having a freezer at work, isn't that Andy? So, and it's a big old freezer. Yeah, in summertime, it's absolutely rammed with um, ice lollies and stuff. It's really handy. Okay, so what I'm going to do, just pop a bit of washi tape on. I thought this would be lovely with washi. I use a lot, I've, I've got a lot of washi, and I thought I should start using it more. And projects like this, it works. You know, because now, if there's bits you want to break up, um, you break them up with your washi. It just adds another layer of interest to it and obviously with this it's just doesn't that work you know just a tiny bit of washi I think that looks so so cool and it just makes it look really quite interesting good in it little bit of washi love a cheeky bit of washi so we got that and I do like this one it's the I've got the gold on I think that looks quite nice and just a hint of the gold so I'm popping a little bit at the top there like so your washi tape, because I've got all sorts going on here, if it doesn't stick, because sometimes I've found if I'm using too many layers, my washi doesn't like it. If it doesn't, glue it down. It's fine. Just slap a bit of glue on. See, I like that. Just little bits of gold here and there. I think that looks cool. Even though I'm being random, it needs to be straight, otherwise that'll do me head in. I can't go to jaunty angle. I'd, not really one for jaunty angles, believe it or not. There, okay, happy with that. And then I'll just put another little bit. You can get carried away with this, can't you? There, like that. Beautiful. Really like that. Okay, so got my washer. And then we're going to bring in the gorgeous clocks. So you just need to decide where you're going. Now, this is why the edge works because you've created an edge for your clocks to work down without that they kind of sit in the middle of your page but because i've created this edge with the black gesso it means even if it's got a gap there doesn't matter your clocks will fit there you've then got obviously all your circles so you can start working out where these want to go and I like this because now you're you're absolutely building a page you know you've got all these lovely little elements and you start bringing all of these in now of course you need these to pop so just putting them on in black and white is not going to work see how cool that is because you keep your and it's lovely because on the actual stamps it has them in a line so just follow the stamps so before i stick these on now i've got some white gesso left you can't have white gesso left and not use it can you so I'll just clean off my paintbrush We'll get the, the gesso, and obviously we need to do some good old drips. Move that, some splashes. So create some splashes because you should. It's the rules, especially if you've got white gesso left. It's the right thing to do. It's the right choice. <laughs> um, so getting a few splashes on there, quite a few splashes. You can't go wrong with a few splashes, can you? There, happy with that. And that means now I don't mind cleaning up the rest of that gesso. And I will actually clean up the rest of the gesso as well. I'll just spray that. I'm attempting to keep this clean. <laughs> Sean will be like, mmm, Leona, mm. Yeah, you and a clean mat, kid. 
We spend we have to spend three hours scraping that off okay and then start bringing these in now you need them to pop so this is where you bring your color in i've got um pens and i'm using our lovely phil martin's pens um which are lovely and what i've found is because there's got um there's a really nice color palette here so it means i can get colors that will match so all i do with this and i i don't really want i want it to stand out but i don't want to color it all in i don't want it you know i don't want to completely have it colored i quite like seeing some of the clock so what i did with these and i won't color them all in just again because because so just going around the edge first of all with the blue I'm picking blue because I've got blue in there in the background which I've absolutely annihilated and you can't see but that's the beautiful thing about layering and it is good it is good when you find that you can be brave with it you know when you start your layering and you bit you stop bothering that you've just completely covered up the the one you did originally it's quite nice is that it's quite liberating and i'm just going to move this gently it's not moving that much because i'm no idea what card i'm using could be anything but that's cool and keep when you're doing things like this just keep bringing it to your work seeing how much you need because when you look at that now just that dark line already lifts that so you don't need too much you know it took me ages to realize it should be that way took me ages it should shouldn't it my clock's on side but that's how i want it <laughs> i mean really it could be coming off the top of my page like that shouldn't it really but you know we're not isn't it funny it's literally because on the stamp set that's what it's like on stamp set so i didn't even think oh yeah that's different so bring in a bit of the green now that green because again there's green in there this one however i do want it a little bit more faded because I know this card isn't allowing me to uh, to watercolour. So I'm going on the glass mat so I can just gently create that colour. Right, so, okay, beautiful. And then go in with the pen again, but this time just a darker, just there on that circle. And I'll just, I won't colour them all in because that will be the end of the show. There we are. That's pretty. And then um, the the actual handle. So we need that sort of nice golden yellow. So just carefully close to it. Do that. Like that. And then we'll just do a tiny bit there. Like here. So you've got that lovely colour blending in. And then just to make it pop a little bit more i'm going to go in with a really dark blue and just go around that edge you could go black and i normally would but i'm being lazy and i'm not looking for my black pen <laughs> i'm honest answer with you okay now have a look at this so that's the first one so if i put that about there see how much that pops now that is so much clearer isn't it really comes forward um and then obviously you do it with these with these ones now I, you could do anything with that see what i love about this because it's got like this paint splatters and so much movement why i mean you don't even need to color the whole thing in you know just bring in a little bit of green in there and then bring in your water brush and just moving that slightly and then the edges it's more the edges it's quite nice having a bit of white on this because you've got a, a really busy background so then having a little bit of white on the actual stamped images allows that to pop even more i find so bringing that bit of green in like so and it's kind of all watercolory so again bringing that on and look see that bit of green that absolutely works so you're going to do that with all of these shall i finish this bit and let our fee remind you what we've got is that is that good <gasps> we've got images as well oh our lovely janice and um, ja we, we, janet it's janet of course it is sorry i miss hearing you our lovely janet that is beautiful oh now janet is the queen of drawing around the images can you see what she's done there 
She's literally taken a fine line of pen and gone round every single line. Janet, that's ridiculously beautiful. That must have taken you hours. That's beautiful. Now, that is so nice because she's just used part of that gorgeous big stencil to create that tag, which looks so effective. Beautiful. Thank you. And then, wow, look at that. That is absolutely exquisite again. So with that one, you can see the wing and then layering it on with a different, that's a different stamp from one of the other sets, but that works beautifully. Looks like a real wing, does that? don't know if she's done that. And that one, that's lovely. Just using part of that stencil again on a gorgeous background. And you see, that's so, that's an easy one, but ridiculously effective. Beautiful. Uh, thank you, Janet. You're a superstar. Uh, back to our fee. She is. Love those images. They're absolutely fantastic. So let's talk about the one day special. It's proving very popular. And then we'll rejoin Leone. So this was some of the stencils that we just saw Janet using. Look at this. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Everything's dispatched on the 18th of May, just to make that clear. So this is one of the stencils you are getting, the uh, beautiful elegance uh, stencil. And then we've got the... Um, Ooh, is this the floral wing? Oh, no, that's, that's the, is this the panache? I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll rename them differently. But anyway, one of them's panache, one of them's elegance, and that is gorgeous. This is the elegance. There we go. The other one's the panache with that big floral bouquet there and that half butterfly wing there. Just love this design on the wing. It's so edgy, isn't it? It's just really gorgeous. And then added to which you are also getting in the one day special, these amazing stamps. Look at these beautiful. So you've got the two wings and the body separate, which I love. And then you've got that complete collection there. And if you saw Corrie's picture earlier when she colored in those flowers, um, it, it looked incredible, didn't it? And I love this, you know, it's almost like a, the, the, the blueprint. Um, that's very engineering with the, um, the light bulbs. And then you've got this tree and the bridge and the water. Oh, this is what Corrie, Corrie did, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that colouring in those flowers. Beautiful on that butterfly, amazing. Big, sizable, striking stamps, even in the black and white, that amazing. Then, as you know, as Leonie was explaining, just picking out certain elements, that's all you need to do. You don't even have to colour the whole thing in. It just looks incredible. £39.97 for the one-day special, 351570 from All and Create. Now, I want to show you two more stencils because we have an even bigger bundle coming up. And this is what the majority of people are going for because it is such great value. So this is one of the stencils. that You have got the Enchanted Garden and sundew isn't that amazing whichever way this is the beauty of the stencils there's no right or wrong for whichever way you're going to hold it or use elements of it just absolutely spectacular and then we've got sundew beautiful isn't it so good all those little sparkly elements it's like, oh, I was thinking it looks like something out of the Hubble telescope. I love it. Uh, so we've got those two stencils there from All and Create for £14.98, 850871. But the majority of you are wisely going for the complete collection because who could separate the beauty? They look magnificent altogether because you're not just taking the savings from the one-day special. You're also getting the freedom discount when you buy them all together. And you can, you can actually separate that into flexi-buy payments as well. £49.46 for all of that bundle there, 429340. And let me show you some of the amazing, amazing uh, demonstrations. This was from Leone earlier on at the six o'clock launch. Beautiful, using the powders there as well. And that's it, just stamped really easily, just like that denim blue, isn't that beautiful? And using parts of the stencil there in the background. This is the one we love with the skeleton leaves. What's the dog's name again? Hmm? Oh, Dave, Dave had to put up with a foraging around in the woods. <laughs> Foraging around for skeleton leaves, she was. We love that. And uh, there again, isn't that amazing? Ah, oh, beautiful. And then using one of the using one of the background stencils there as well, and one of the extra stamps we've got coming up. I know that Leonie was using it as well. So we've got that on two flexi buy payments of twenty four pounds seventy three for the complete bundle four two nine three four zero. All right, let's find out how we can uh, create a flexi buy payment, and then we'll go straight back to Leonie. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. 
after your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. I'm rummaging again. Right, I've coloured these in. I thought, I'm I nearly said I thought I'd wait until you came back. It wasn't uh, me being nice and waiting until you came back. What it actually was, was me not finishing colouring them in in time. Um, so, what I'm going to do, let's get these stuck in place. So, we'll get that one here, like so. So, I'm using double-sided tape. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm using 3D foam tape. Now, I know this is in an art journal, but... It's an art journal. I can use what I want. <laughs> um, but the lovely thing is, sound a bit thingy, isn't it? Um, I can do what I want. Uh, the thing is, with an art journal, you, you kind of get used to thick pages. You kind of get used to it not sitting flat, and that's fine. So a little bit of this. And that's why your art journals were a nice big, um, nice ring-bound journal with lots of space. is fabulous. So getting these, and I like... With my double-sided um, foam tape, I like this one because it's it's quite fine. It's quite a thin tape, so it allows me to to create different depth in there. So I'm going to pop that one there and that one there. So I've got my edges, got my clocks in there. And then take this one, like so, the little scribbly circles. I love these, and I love it because when you see the stamp. You don't think initially, oh, you know, that's going to be easy to cut out. But as soon as you look at just sections of it, so don't look at it as a full thing. You just look at the circles, just look at little elements. Then you will see the parts that will cut out easy. But it is a case of looking sort of into the stamp almost. Like I like looking into my papers. Into the stamp. And then we'll just stick these. I would 3D them, but I'm just... Um, I want to get another demo in. See, they look better 3D, so I am going to 3D them. I'm just um, one, two, three. Right, three circles. I have got the little stars as well. And as soon as you build it up, now, again, the lovely thing with this, you're building it up, it just, it's whatever you want it to be. It's as random as you want it to be, and I love that. I love that sort of random nature of it. There we go, there's my little circles. And my last little circle is going to go at the bottom. Like so. Boom. Nice and random. Um, now, to finish that off, what I would do is turn my back on you again and disappear again. How dare I? How very dare I? But I'm going to get my massive tub of Distress uh, Crayons. Massive tub of Distress Crayons. So I'll get the crayons out. If all else fails, just get the crayons. I have a little crayon. Um, and these are fab because now you can get your, your little bit of um, drop shadowing, a little bit of texture in there as well because it's a crayon. You can actually just smudge that in with your water. So you're getting that, oh no, see, straight away, that's well cool. And it, I like this because, boom, because you don't, I, it's not perfect at all, but it's quick. So with the Distress Crayons, um, they don't move unless you put your water, up. well, they'll blend slightly, but you won't get a, a proper blend unless you put your water on, which is lovely because they're perfect for um, for your mixed media. Let's get rid of that now, like that. Beautiful, like that, like that a lot. And then what I'll do, I'll just pop a little bit like that. Okay, so those bits there, same again. I've got all those colours and the only one I'm using is black. It's like, Leona, why have you got five million colours? <laughs> Why don't you just buy the black crayon? It's obviously your favourite. There we go. And you see, nice and quick. So I didn't want to spend too long faffing about with this because I thought I'd better show you another demo. And I know we're going to be short on time, aren't we? 
There we go. I'm getting the excess off on my hand because... There we go. There we go. How be you? Oh, I will be on a hoarder's show. Yeah. Yeah, it will It will just be, it'll be at work and then they'll come to me house and they'll be like, oh my good grief, work with nothing. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, I know, but it'll be all good stuff. It's like people who don't craft don't get it. They're like, you know, like one of my friends, you just need to declutter on him. <laughs> oh no, I, th I think you'll find that isn't what I need. Oh, some people, they just don't get it. Right, okay, I'm happy. I'm really happy with that, actually. Really happy with that. And then all I do is put a word on. I must admit, I'm using my stickers just because they're just so handy. That's why I've been using these. Um, of course, we all uncreate. You've got some beautiful... Um, let's put that one. Cover it with gesso. Um, you've got some beautiful in the whole all and create stamps. You've got some really good. Um, I haven't done one saying gerbil in the cleavage. <laughs> that would be a fabulous stamp though, wouldn't it? That would be a fabulous stamp. Oh, go and stick a gerbil down your cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> No one will know what that means. I love when you say things in those tones because you can say anything. It can sound really quite like, you know, oh, why don't you go and stick a gerbil down your cleavage? <laughs> uh, no one will know what that meant. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I don't know if uh, people would use that sticker if I invented that sticker, do you? I love that. Doesn't that work? These are such good stamps. That background with that wonderful stencil absolutely works. And all those colours. I love it because the colours blend in. You know, you can see under, but you can see under the print, which is interesting because of that pen. I absolutely adore that. Now, um, what shall we do? Shall I do another quick demo? Yeah, another quick demo. Okay, so I'll bob that down there for a moment and then I'll move that to one side. I'm saving me other demo for tomorrow morning, folks, so you'll have to tune in tomorrow morning. Let's work on a big um, book. So, a big book. I never said book, it's a book. Book. Where did that come from? Who do I think I am? Book. No, book. Book. That's more northern, isn't it? Book. Anyway. Book is book posh. <laughs> I do apologise at home. I feel like I might be talking rubbish. Right, so let's get purple because I never really use purple. Bath, isn't it? Bath. Oh no, it's not bath. Bath. It's bath, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's a bath. Bath. Or is it a bath? What do you say, Kater? <laughs> Sink. <laughs> mint tub, I mint bucket. <laughs> yeah, it is true. When you say a word too many times, it's like, I don't even know what you're trying to say anymore. It's no longer a word. Right, so just going on with my ink. Now, I'm working on my page to apply the ink, but you know what? That's fine because I'm using Distress Oxide. The lovely thing is with it, it'll move. It Like, the ink underneath will move, so even if I move, um, even if I get it and I don't like it, don't matter. So, just going on. Now, with stencils, this kind of... The, it's the way they've been cut and I was trying to see which side or which and I couldn't really tell so one side's kind of got the edge and the other side's more smooth and you'll definitely find that with all stencils because obviously the way the laser cut um, so that means if you use a smoother edge you'll get a better sort of um, print when you do this as a print but if you use the, the sort of the edge that's got the edges you normally get the the kind of i don't know it'll be a different print so it'll more, look more like an outline if you will so just going on with the ink you could use ink you could obviously use paints for this whatever you fancy there we go boom so 
what I'm going to do next, so see what I mean with that, your background. Now, your background, I can leave that because it's distress oxide, so I'm not worried. My background, now this actually looks a little bit cool as it is. Because it's a distress oxide, um, we can start moving this round like so. So already you're creating a really soft background, and this is just from the ink. It's just your leftovers. You know me, I love things like that because it's repurposing it. I'll get my, my good old rice paper as ever and just pick up the excess. The rice paper, because I've got green on there, and it's transferring the green onto there, but I like that as well. I think that gives it a completely different, um, different look altogether. So, happy with that because I've got all sorts going on there, which is beautiful. Nicole, no, should I tell you, gang, what we're talking about, Mia? We're now having um, quite a debate, the bread roll debate, that time of the evening, where we chat about bread rolls. Is it a ban cake? Is it, is it, um, what are the other ones? A bun? A bun. Oh, is it a chip, chip butter? Oh, boom. And sometimes... Is it, uh, what's the other ones that you call it? A cob? What's a cob? Muffin. Muffin. Muffin, chip muffin. Yep, yep. Chip muffin. <laughs> chips, innit? Chips. Bread chips. Butter. Yeah, I'm thin. The bomb cake, yes. Oh, so many variations. There you go, everybody. Who, who needs, um, who needs breaking news? You can watch Chanda. Any, uh, any of that debate on, on the bread roll? <laughs> uh, and, yeah, it's not... I mean, you might have heard that before, but let's face it, everything seems a bit repetitive currently. Now, I've just dropped my stencil, bear with. Oh, and I did drop it, butter side down. But it's OK. But it's, uh, it's always the way, isn't it? Apparently, it isn't always the way. Apparently, some I were reading some one of these sort of intellectual types and they said no it isn't it is you've got a 50 50 chance but it always feels like it's butter side down okay now i've absolutely wet it through because i want this um beautiful print on there i love this stencil i mean it's just glorious isn't it that butterfly is sensational i want to press this down i don't want to use my green but i am going to do because oh i'm not bear with sorry folks I've hidden the rest of my rice paper. So I'm just pressing that down. Now, hopefully, I've wet this enough so we'll transfer that beautiful image. Now, our Janet, when she does these, Janet gets her drawing pen now and she'll go around every single line. It looks phenomenal. I mean, when she does her work, oh my gosh, it absolutely looks incredible. But whew, what a lot of work, but it's, it is worth it. Look at that print. Isn't that a beautiful stencil? Beautiful. And you've still got enough ink on there to get another print off that. I'm working in an art journal, so obviously, if you're working in an art journal, of course you're going to try and get a second print. So if I go on, just wet the page and pop it back down again. It's always, always worth doing this. And this time I will pat it down so you're patting it down i'm patting it down this time with my the dirty um rice paper i said dirty with the green rice paper so i'm obviously going to get the print from the stencil what's left from the stencil i'm also um inking in between so it's like using um it's like using a sponge something like that just with inking through it but but obviously your rice paper. It's very interesting. There we go. Okay, let's have a little look, see what that one looks like. Remember, this is only your scrap, so if we don't get anything, oh, but we do, and that looks interesting. Looks really interesting with the green as well. That's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's still ink on that, but shall I hold it up so you can see colours? Shall I show you colours? Yum. Because have a look at those colours. Look at the green underneath it. Looks quite cool, that, doesn't it? Can you see? It's bright lights, isn't it? Bright lights. It is a little bit too bright for you to see. There you go. You can see, just about see that green. 
and then that gorgeous, gorgeous print. Now, that's my second print, so that isn't really my real one, but I, I often, I often don't use my real one, but that's the real one. And you can just, again, see how beautiful this image is. Now, loads of ways of using this one. Obviously, we've got our main butterflies. Now, the main butterfly sits wonderfully over this. I just think it is absolutely stunning, but they all sit beautifully over it. You see, I think that sits wonderfully over this one. So all you do, and let me show you, I am using that. I might change the colour, but I just think that is glorious. So all you need to do, if I just get my, um, my piece of paper, it's so so all you need to do just take your paper and take your your gorgeous butterfly and um i am going to use that one this time so using this one i'll just cut this down because i might as well use my stamping platform and i'm going to be cutting it out so i know it doesn't need to be a perfect piece of card like so how much time have i got I've been rich three minutes, is that all? Oh, I've been so chilled out, haven't I? It's funny, isn't it? I have been a bit too chilled. Sometimes, I mean, it's life telly, but you're going to this really nice chilled out place, which, you know what, we can't whinge about that, can we? Now, I know I'm cutting it out, so because I'm cutting it out, it doesn't matter that I'm going to go up the top there. I know it doesn't ma need enough room for his full body because I'm only going half. Um, now, if you wanted the full body, um, in the first show, of course, we did the... Um, oh, I'm tempted to do a purple butterfly. I'm going to do black. Um, always stamping black. I'm terrible. I'm addicted to stamping in black. Um, yeah, if you do the acetate, that's how... You, and it's a really good way of getting the, the matching wings because, obviously, you just do it in acetate, put the acetate one over there, even two in acetate. But because, obviously, we acetate, you've got the image on both sides, so it allows you to flip it so you'll have both sides of the wings. And it's a really... Again, it looks really, really effective. Just under two minutes. Come on, Pugil. So, what I'm doing here, stamping that gorgeous my ink's running out eventually which is so very annoying um so i will go on i'll actually go on with the blue over the top of it because this is brand brand new oh come on kid so what you do with this one i do you know what my um stamping platform um really smells of it smells beautiful but it smells of um I think it must be sun cream because, yeah, well, it's something like that. But you know where you have um, them little bottles when you go on your holidays? Well, I didn't realise it were it were one I'd used for a holiday. Filled it with water, sprayed my papers. It, it wasn't. It wasn't water. I have no idea. It made it set. It set everything. It sealed everything. So I couldn't do any technique with it. But everything smells fabulous now. But anyway enough of that so all you need to do with this you'll then go back in so his little body if you're only going for half the gorgeous butterfly look there you go and that gives you that gorgeous image isn't it beautiful and the lovely thing is with this when you cut it out then you don't need to cut it out as the full butterfly because look when you cut it out, and obviously, I won't cut the thing out because we've only, we've 15 seconds. You'll cut it out, it'll look like that, and then you'll Bye. stick it in your book. See you Bye -bye. later, Fiona. Are you See back you, in tomorrow, love? When uh, you... No, next Monday. Okay. Excellent. RFA is back in next Monday. Well, welcome back to all of our lovely viewers from the US of A. It is great to have your company again. Sadly, we weren't able to ship out to you because, of course, there is the coronavirus situation at the moment. Now, really great news. We're managing now to be able to ship back out to you again. However, it is working out to be quite costly because of things changing for us. And the price now is actually $12.95 per item. But... 
do not despair because there's a great way around this. If you become a part of our Freedom Members Club, which is $19.99, that is the one payment that you pay for the month. And what that gives you is your packaging and your posting, your shipping basically on the items that you buy. So instead of buying one item for $12.95, use that $19.99 and get your items sent to you. It's the best way to shop. But it's great to have you back. We're so glad that we're able to ship to you over there in the US of A. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with a Chanda easier. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. This is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda.
Well, hello there. Okay, here at Hot Channel, we cater for not only the paper crafting and soft crafting, but also hobbies on art. And one of the hobbies may be to have, uh, you know, your maybe vintage uh, cars and having them, or brand new cars to have them perfectly clean and in spotless. Now, I have to say, I do ha had uh, some, uh, you know, of the ultimate uh, finish, the wash and wax. Last time that the sun was here, I did I get some, and I have used it on my car, and it's amazing how quick and easy, how uh, you know how mess free it is and how spotless it leaves the car now we will have a stand uh, on the phone in a little bit on the Skype call but before that we are going to preview the wash and uh, wax now here in this bundle not only you are getting four of the 750 ml but you also getting the microfiber cloths now my mistake last time was that I didn't get the microfiber cloths thinking that I could get something else and I would go so no 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 this is the bundle that, of course, comes with them and is fabulous to go for. Can, can you see? Is that the right price? Thirteen pounds and ninety-two pence for four of them and the micro. No, I, you know, like I'm like Leone. I never look at the prices before going on air because there's far too many things to look at. But when I have looked at the price, it is an amazing saving because. I remember you use so little for every car. Now, of course, the stand is the man that will tell us exactly how amazing this is and how you use it. Hello, Stan. Hello. Hello, Paula. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Good. Yeah, good. This is my little studio in the kitchen. Yeah. Well, it looks fabulous. It looks fabulous. Look how much I, I love that you have prepped it all like if it was. Uh, you know, have got every product that we are going to be featuring this hour. You have them there. So you can explain us exactly how to use them. Now, you know, remember last time we did the show together, Sam, uh, I did get the uh, wash uh, and wax and I love it. It's exactly what you said it was. It's fabulous. I know. And can I explain, first of all, of why this crazy price? Yes. We are changing the packaging, the design of the packaging, just the, 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 the look of the product, yeah. not the actual product. Yeah. And because of that, we've got a little bit of stock left. It's all at Hochanda. Yeah. And once it's gone, that's it's it. Gone. It will never be repeated. This is a clearance price of the old style packaging. Right, it is an absolutely fabulous price, of course, and you are getting the four bottles as well as the four microfiber cloths there. So, of course, that means that you have, like, personally, I, you know, you use very little every time, so you will last a long time, won't it? That's right. One, one bottle can actually clean, polish, and protect up to around eight cars. I so it does go a very long way. Now, one of the things I know I have to say that I loved uh, to using this is because I, I love my car. I, it, it, well, there's a lot of story with that car, but uh, I, it's one of the things I never find the right time to go to a, a car washer or something like that. Now, many of them are closed now. But one of the things that I love about this is the fact that I can do, and I'll be honest, if I have got five minutes, I can do a little bit, five minutes, and then go back in next hour and do the rest of the car if I need to. It's, it fits into my lifestyle, if you know what I mean. Also, it doesn't, it just need, it doesn't need a, a hose. It doesn't need a, you know, I don't need to take it, my car to somewhere special. I can do it when, as and when I need to do it, clean my car. Now, also, I love that it comes with a trigger. Um, e each bottle has got a trigger. Um, how, how you call it? A trigger mechanism? Uh, because then it means that, for instance, I could give one of them to my friend if she, wa if she wanted to try it or test it. So that means that it's completely standalone bottles. Now, can you tell us about what it makes it so special, the wash and wash, uh, sorry, wash and wax, <laughs> you know, it, what, the components in there, the ingredients? Yeah, it's actually a two-part formulation. So the first thing you do before you use it is give it a good shake. Okay. You shake it to activate it. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and then you just spray it on one panel at a time. Yeah. Wipe it with one cloth, that will clean the dirt off. Okay, yeah. Wipe it with the second cloth, that buffs it up to a showroom shine finish. And what's in it is the carnival wax, which gives the invisible protective coating 
And the kaolin clay, which gives that deep, deep shine, which you'll see in some of the videos later on, yep. an amazing mirror-like shine. And, and that is, is a very good point because by having the four microcloth fibers, it means that you always can have one to apply to, to give it the polish and then to apply the product, to wipe it off, to wipe away the dirt, and then the second one to um, polish it. Now, we have got some images from before and after. Can you talk us through what we are looking at here, Stan? Yes, sure. That caravan, I saw that in a driveway. It was driving along, saw it in the driveway, and I went and knocked at the door, and I said to the lady there, could we clean your caravan for you? And she yeah. said, it's been there for eight years. You'll never get it clean. And she said, besides which, what's the catch and how much is it going to cost? Yeah. I said, it won't cost anything. All I'd like to do is take a photograph now and then just take another one when we've transformed it. And my wife was in the car, so we jumped out the car and we gave it the ultimate finished treatment. And, and there you go. It looks like new now. It does, it does. And this is the thing also I, I found with my car. It had, um, I hadn't cleaned it for a, quite a while, some time, and it really needed a proper deep clean. Well, it took me so little effort. I mean, I did a full car with about, I don't know, 10 minutes or something like that. It was amazing. It's so quick and easy, and you do not need any other uh, materials or any hose or uh, water, and which is basically my issue with them. Where I live, I don't have a hose that I can take the water in. Now, if you want to go for this fabulous bundle, your item number is 704673. And remember, that massive saving of 50 pounds, 13 pounds and 92 pence, includes of course those four uh, microfiber cloths as well as the four bottles of the wash and wax the ultimate finish now Stan can you tell us a little bit more about the uh, tire tri and trim here sure the tire and trim is for all the plastic and rubber trim inside and outside your car or caravan or any vehicle and again, all you do is just spray a small amount onto the sponge applicator. Yeah. Just give it a quick wipe, and literally within seconds, it's transformed to looking like new again. Give it a quick wipe with a microfiber cloth, and that's the job done. And it's a clear formula, so it doesn't matter what color the trim is. Brilliant for the tires as well. You know when you go to a used car dealer, it looks like there's all new tires yeah. on cars. But obviously, they don't put new tyres on all the cars. They make them look like new. Yeah. So you could do those finishing touches as well. And it goes a very long way. And again, yeah. I can't believe the price. Half, less than half price. Yeah. Crazy price. It is. Yeah. It is absolutely crazy. And look at that. So this is... The, are you using here the ultimate finish, though, in this little video? That's right. And you can see what I'm doing here. I'm not working that fast. No. It's just... <laughs> Because <laughs> it actually took 13 minutes from start to finish for me to transform that very, very dirty car. Yeah. And you know, I'm only using the one product and a couple of the ultimate microfiber cloths. Yeah. I'm just spraying it on, 